Chapter 621, One Sword Strike from Lin Qian. Start. Start. A Wen and the orange-haired Yao shouted at the same time and moved simultaneously. A Wen's eyes were widened, the black plumes on his armor stood on end and vibrated in unison. He was slightly crouched, his arms pushed out as though he was about to hug someone, as he breathed and suddenly pushed down. The ground under his feet soundlessly sank. A deep hole with smooth walls was formed. It was as though there was a diagram on the ground made with a tool, the outline was clear and sharp. The orange-haired Yao shouted strangely. Lightning flashed across his body and crackled. His orange hair exploded into a poof. It was hilarious to watch because he was still shaking and swaying his head. The ground underneath him was crumbling and disappearing at a visible rate underneath his feet. The hole's outline traced out a picture. A picture of woman appeared in front of everyone. Nan Yu and the others were stunned. They all had admiration in their eyes. These two were clearly a level above the rest of them. These were two freaks. When a Wen had acted, they hadn't detected one vibration at all. The outline was so clear, the lines looked as sharp as if cut by a blade. It showed just how stunning a Wen's control of power was. They found that they understood even less about the orange-haired Yao's Yao art. It had actually caused the dirt to crumble from the inside. Even though it was lightning, it was corrosive and uncanny. Hey, youth, you aren't too bad. The orange-haired Yao was slightly shocked. HMPH. Next time, I will defeat you, a Wen said, undaunted. Under the shocked gazes of everyone else, the two started to compete fiercely again, each working on their portrait. Hum, isn't this a Gui? Young person, so you have been secretly pining for a Gui? The orange-haired Yao pointed at the portrait under a Wen's feet as he shouted. Idiot. You need to call her a Gui Darren. A Wen glared angrily and then snorted coldly. A Gui Darren's beauty isn't something that a common person like you can understand. A Gui is a good girl, but not a beauty. The orange-haired Yao shook his head and said smugly, what I drew is a beauty. A Wen stared for a long time at the drawing under the orange-haired Yao's feet. His expression suddenly became slightly strange as he muttered, why does your portrait seem a bit like old black? The black smoke Yao's body trembled and then he charged over. The orange-haired Yao had a smug expression. Haha, young person, you were right. In the past, old black frequently cross-dressed in the Yao art house and bewitched many men. The black smoke Yao's eye twitched continuously. What had happened in the past was something he was unwilling to mention. This damn person. He was on the edge of losing his temper. The other people retreated perceptively and looked sympathetically at the black smoke Yao. Just as the black smoke Yao was going to explode, there were violent tremors from the ground. Almost everyone was unable to stay standing up. Whoa whoa whoa. Did we dig through the maze? The orange-haired Yao had an excited expression. Idiot. The other people whose expressions had changed couldn't help but curse at him simultaneously. The shaking of the ground increased in intensity. A great noise came from deep within the ground like an ancient beast that was waking up from its slumber. Damn it. The ground is rising up. The black smoke Yao's expression changed dramatically. Everyone's expressions abruptly changed. With the Mo appearing, Lin Qian no longer doubt that the stunning scene in front of him was a trap. That ray of light that shot straight into the sky and the vibrations that came with it was enough to show the terrifying power it contained. This power was so strong that even Lin Qian felt his heart tremble slightly. In this moment, he felt some respect for Grandmaster Shi Ziming who he had never met before. In a blink, his gaze became clear again and that ripple in his mind disappeared without a trace. He did not think further on who Xiao Mo Zhe was. At this moment, that was not important. Crack. The air around him suddenly exploded. The dense sword essence spread into the surroundings without any more concealment. In this moment, he was like a treasure sword that was drawn from its sheath, no longer concealed its sharp edge. Around him, every person showed excitement as their fighting spirit rose. The sword essences gave off different colors of light. Each person was like a sword wanting to drink the blood of their enemies. Does everyone remember the plan? Lin Qian looked around and asked. Yes. All of them were solemn. This mission is related to the glory and decline of our Kunlun. We may break our bones and our bodies, but we will not retreat. Lin Qian's expression was determined. No one could look directly at his burning eyes. He slowly drew out his flying sword. Will not retreat. The group responded in unison with serious expressions. Fanatic flames flashed through their eyes as their flying swords appeared in their hands. Lin Qian turned around and suddenly raised the flying sword in his hand. He shouted, for Kun Lun. All of his Ling power suddenly boiled and his presence rose to a peak. In the night, his sword essence was like a tangible burning flame. Within the darkness, in this land of the Mo, he displayed his power without any fear. Lin Qian's fighting spirit and enthusiasm infected every Kun Lun's sword shoe. The fiery passion they felt caused their ling power to boil. All of their terror and timidness disappeared. Fighting spirit burned every inch of their skin and they reflexively shook. At this moment, for Kun Lun, even if they were to die, they would not frown one bit. They raised their flying swords in unison and shouted, for Kun Lun. Before the sound dissipated, Lin Qian flew into the sky first. He turned into a sword light that tore the night sky as he shot towards the steel forest that was rising up. The other people saw this and moved without hesitation. In this moment, the sword howls were like a tide and the lights were like rain. The force that the pillar of light gave off as it rose disturbed the air. The turbulence caused Zuo Mo's clothing to flap in the wind. 
He looked down. He saw the Mo experts that were flying over, and the blinding sword lights. He saw the experts from the other sects that had sneaked into the city. That pair of emotionless eyes looked indifferently at all of this. His Mo skill had been channeled to an extreme, while his consciousness and Ling power were still streaming deep into his body. This icy world became increasingly clear in front of him. The rest of the steel forest was continuously rising and the spot he was standing in had started to sink. The steel in front of him was the entrance to the Great Peace Treasure Pavilion. Treasure Pavilion's entrance. Someone shouted and this caused a ruckus. The area that was sinking was very small and not even too jong in radius. Watching as Zuo Mo slowly sank down, the experts that were rushing forwards felt even more urgent. Even the sword lights from Kun Lun sped up and the howl from the swords increased in volume. Take control of the entrance, Yu Shuang shouted. The other Mo hesitated slightly and then made their decision. They gritted their teeth and leapt at the incoming sword lights. If Kun Lun gained control of the entrance, no one would be able to enter. The disciples of the other three great sects moved at the same time, but their presence was lacking compared to Kun Lun. Almost all the Mo targeted Kun Lun. Facing the Mo that was charging at him, Lin Qian was fearless. With a clear hum, the sword light grew. The high pitched howl suddenly became low and deep. Like a meteor crashing down from the sky, it smashed towards its enemies. Protect Eldest Shishong. The sword Shu that had been following behind Lin Qian suddenly increased in speed. Like a flower blooming, they drew out elegant curves as they moved to intercept the other Mo experts. They did not pay any attention to the enemy in front of Lin Qian. Everyone had absolute confidence in Eldest Shishong. The person in front of Lin Qian was Yu Shuang. Yu Shuang's pupils contracted into pinpoints. The other did not have any room to retreat, and his sword essence was determined. He shouted, Come. His body was immediately covered in green Mo matrixes. The green Mo matrixes were unusually beautiful, the lines thin and complex. The entire Mo matrix looked like a blooming green flower. With Yu Shuang as the center, the complex and fine blue flower matrix spread into the surroundings. Bright pink roses bloomed from these green matrixes and it was beautiful to see. This was Yu Shuang's rose greenery domain. Suddenly, all the roses shook slightly. The petals crumbled soundlessly. In a moment, the pink roses around Yu Shuang turned into a sea of flower petals. The pink rose petals were torn into pieces and slowly became green at a visible rate. Whoosh! The green rose petal pieces seemed to be caught in a wind. It turned into a green flower wind that headed towards Lin Qian. The Mo that noticed this all felt their hearts shake. Yu Shuang's first move was his famed killing move, Green Flower Rain. There was a strange energy field between every green flower petal. The innumerable flowers that appeared in the flurry of petals was the result of the countless fields overlapping on each other. It formed a terrifyingly powerful bog. Once one was trapped inside it, even the strongest power would be restrained by the energy fields. It was like being trapped in a bog. The person would move slower and slower until they were unable to move. Countless numbers of people had fallen to the green flower rain. As Yu Shuang's power increased, and his fame spread, it was rare for people to see this green flower rain. So when the Mo saw Yu Shuang's green flower rain, they became excited. The unique and strange power of green flower rain was the bane of the sharp sword essences. They seemed to see this sword shoe being tangled up like an insect in a spider web. The fighting spirit in Lin Qian's eyes heated up. The flying sword in his hand seemed to feel his excitement and uncontrollably hummed to respond to its master. The flying sword in Lin Qian's hand was not an ordinary one. It was the famed sword, Taya. The body of the sword was like a clear spring and exceptionally nimble. Facing the rain of green flowers coming at him, a burning light lit up at the tip of Taya. It seemed to be a spark created by Taya scraping against the air. What was strange was that the sword did not turn red, but became even clearer and transparent as though it was made of ice. Lin Qian's left eye was as red as fire, and his right eyes as blue as ice. Hiss. Like a sharp blade slicing through cotton cloth. The resilient and sticky green flower rain was cleaved apart by this single sword blow. Yu Shuang gave a muffled grunt. His eyes were filled with shock and fear. A thread of blood slipped from the corner of his mouth. One move. He was defeated in one move by Lin Qian. Who was this person? His one strike shook all of the Great Peace City. Zuo Mo was unaffected, as he slowly sunk into the ground looking indifferently at Lin Qian's stunning blow. Chapter 622, Anti-Dragon Claw Lin Qian's single sword strike had intimidated the entire battlefield. Yu Shuang was ranked second on the Great Peace Mo ranking. In Hundred Savage Realm, he was a top-ranked expert but he was wounded by a single blow. Lin Qian was still mid-air as he held Taya. The light at the tip of Taya was as bright as the sun there wasn't any of his usual gentleness. His red and blue eyes were filled with pride, arrogance, and disdain as he slowly glanced over everyone. His movements were extremely slow but it held a suffocating pressure. No one dared to meet his gaze. The entire battlefield was silent. The Mo of Great Peace City lost their nerve after seeing Lin Qian's sword strike. All of the Kun Lun disciples looked with heated gazes at Eldest Shishong, who in turn was looking down at all present. They felt excited and wanted to roar. Kun Lun. We are Kun Lun. Eldest Shishong's peerless stature as though he ruled the world was deeply imprinted in their minds. I have not asked for sir's name? Chong Yuan Hao's voice broke the silence. 
Everyone finally woke up from their shock and looked at this youth holding the sword. Even the disciples of the other three sects had ashen complexions as they looked at Lin Qian who was like a god of the sword in the air. Floating in the air, Lin Qian did not seem to hear this. He descended step by step with his sword drawn, walking as though there were invisible stairs under his feet. He was at ease but no one dared to block him. Suddenly, three figures appeared before Lin Qian and stopped him in his steps. Zhu Ke, Sha, and the middle-aged attendant. Ah, these old bones of mine are going to get damaged today, Zhu Ke said to himself smilingly. Sha did not say a word but the long spear in his hand suddenly flicked up. The middle-aged attendant looked at Lin Qian with a dark face. Lin Qian did not pause, he walked down from the sky as though he didn't see the three at all. As Zuo Mo's figure slowly sank into the ground, the sound outside was blocked off. He entered a new world. Half-transparent threads crossed in the air. Other than these threads, there was nothing else in the surroundings. Some of the threads formed a path that seemed to be made out of spider webs Zuo Mo's field of vision. Zuo Mo advanced following the path. With every step, a Mo matrix would appear out of the emptiness and support his foot. The spider web path spread into the distance and it was possible to see thin threads along the way. Zuo Mo noticed these thin threads seemed to be gathering in one direction in the same direction as the spider web path. As he moved forward, this became even more evident. Even now, Zuo Mo did not know what these thin threads were, and why he could only see them in this state. The thin threads increased in density. Zuo Mo suddenly stopped in his steps, he lifted his head. The scene in front of him caused a ripple even in his present state of mind. A claw was tangled up by countless threads in the air. This claw was enormous. It was like a high mountain peak reaching into the clouds. Even looking from a distance, he could feel its peerless enormity. In front of this enormous claw, Zuo Mo was as minuscule as an ant. But what truly had caused a stir in Zuo Mo's mind was not the enormity of this enormous claw but that he had seen this enormous claw before. Anti-Dragon Claw. This is impossible. Wei and Pu Yao's exclamations sounded at the same time. Zuo Mo had seen this dragon claw before. When Wei he had disguised himself as his previous master he held a claw that was identical to this, except it was smaller then. The anti-dragon claw had landed in Shi Zi Ming's possession. Pu Yao murmured. He looked dazedly at the mountainous anti-dragon claw and a glimmer of tears appeared in his eye. Many distant scene appeared in front of him. That peerless beautiful face that had changed his entire life was so clear. Even the years which could corrode anything didn't seem to have left any mark on it. Wei was silent, his face sorrowful and reminiscing. Zuo Mo suddenly stepped towards the anti-dragon claw. Stop. Quick, stop. Don't go near it. Pu Yao and Wei were frightened by Zuo Mo's action. Their expressions changed and they warned him. But Zuo Mo seemed to be possessed and didn't hear their shouts. His steps did not falter at all as he continued to walk towards the mountainous anti-dragon claw. Boom. 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 The rhythmic beating grew clearer until it shook people's minds. As Zuo Mo went closer, the power of the beating increased. The source was the anti-dragon claw. It seemed to have a heart that was continuously beating. When Zuo Mo walked under the anti-dragon claw and raised his head, he truly felt the colossal nature of it. That peerless pressure caused his mind to waver. But Zuo Mo's eyes were tranquil, cold and indifferent. It was alive. When Zuo Mo's hand touched the anti-dragon claw, he could clearly feel the terrifying power and strong vitality contained underneath the scales harder than metal, as well as deep unwillingness. Don't move it, it is not something you can use now. Pu Yao's voice was so urgent it changed in pitch. Zuo Mo did not seem to hear Pu Yao. The half-transparent threads in his vision seemed fragile but securely restrained the anti-dragon claw so that it was unable to move at all. Wei said rapidly, the anti-dragon claw is one of the ten celestial Mo weapons, it is not something that you can subdue now. Only marshals are able to subdue them. Master had been a marshal and almost lost her life when subduing this. The anti-dragon claw seemed to hear Pu Yao and Wei's words. Zuo Mo could feel the claw laughing at him for reaching far beyond his limits. Its heart was beating even more heavily. Vast power spread from it and the thick strands were unable to block off all of it. He thin threads that reached into the dark void would shake with every pulse, every beat. This power would reach into distant places. However, no matter how strong the anti-dragon claw was, it could not break free of the tens of thousands of slender threads. Zuo Mo's expression did not change at all. His appraised face was cold and indifferent, and his eyes were icy. His gaze landed on a part of the anti-dragon claw. Within his vision, that was the place where there was the most threads. He suddenly flew up and gazed at the layers of thin threads. He suddenly reached out and pushed into this ball of thin threads. Pu Yao and Wei's faces became ashen. Suddenly, the anti-dragon claw stopped beating. The entire space sank into a silence. All vibrations, all sound, even the light on the thin strands stopped moving. A moment later, the entire space started to shake violently. Boom boom boom. All of the thin threads were violently trembling, every single thread. In this instant, even the anti-dragon claw gave off a nervous vibration. Suddenly, a legend that Pu Yao had almost forgotten flashed through his mind. A disbelieving look suddenly came out of his eyes as he blurted, this is. Boom. The space started to crumble. Lin Qian's hair was disarrayed and the light of the Taiya sword in his hand was dim. The three experts had worked together to successfully stop his advance. 
All three of the experts were unfathomable in their power. They were not famous, but they were the strongest within their respective families. You should be proud to be able to force the three of us together. Zhu Ke's tone carried a thread of admiration. Before today, he had never thought that he would work with the two beside him to attack a young sword Shu that was in his twenties. It had been more than a decade since he had fought, much less with the other two by his side. Such a great genius, even he had never seen one like this before. Kun Lun, as expected of Kun Lun, so terrifying. Sha did not speak but his upraised long spear didn't dare to move away from Lin Qian. The most shocked among them was the middle-aged attendant. Her expression changed constantly and she was shocked. Her mother had served Shi Zi Ming and she had been very knowledgeable from a very young age. After working hard on her cultivation in these years, she had reached the cusp of Shen power. She was also just one step away from martial level. Even so, she had to work together with other people to subdue this Kun Lun youth. He really was terrifying. The other sword Shu were also entangled up. Qi Diao Yu and the others were lacking compared to Lin Qian, but they were evenly matched to the other Kun Lun disciples. The fighting between the two was extremely intense. The other three sect disciples also were fighting hard. The Mo were on home territory and they had the advantage of numbers. At this time, they were fighting in a fury, and they did not care about fatalities. There were Xiaojie constantly dying and the situation was becoming increasingly disadvantageous towards them. Lin Qian appeared disheveled, but his left eye that was completely red became even more heated as his blue eye became even colder. His usually gentle smile was as sharp as a sword edge. He had predicted how difficult this trip to the Great Peace was but he had not expected that he would encounter three opponents that were this powerful. These three people were extremely strong. The old man's Mo physique was also eerie and hard to predict. Even Lin Qian did not recognize it. Sol Mo Lur was one of the top Mo skills among the Mo and supposedly had been passed down from the ancient times. He was even more shocked by the male in heavy armor. That was gravestone armor. The middle-aged female had a strange power, and Lin Qian even detected a thread of Shen power from her. These three, any one of them, should be a top expert in the world. He was meeting three at once, fighting three against one. Lin Qian's fighting spirit burned. He did not have any timidness or fear. The Taya sword in his hand seemed to come alive again. He suddenly raised the Taya sword. The blue Taya sword was like a sword of ice as a tiny light lit up at its tip. Holding the Taya sword, Lin Qian drew with the sword in the air. The light of the sword drew out streaks of light in the air. They seemed to be lines drawn on paper and did not dissipate. With every stroke of the Taya sword, a roar of thunder would sound. The three people facing him changed expressions. They recognized the power. All the power in the surroundings were vibrating uncontrollably with the strokes of the Taya sword. They were just about to attack when their bodies froze. They abruptly turned around to look at the steel forest behind them. In this moment, their faces were filled with shock. Chapter 623, The Dragon Claw Coming Into the World Is there really a great peace treasure pavilion? The subordinate asked curiously. Of course, Bi Yu Hang replied without turning his head. He gazed at the ray of light that reached into the sky and was slightly absent-minded as he thought of other matters. Haha. <laughs> brother Bi Yu is peerless in your intelligence and has set up a gigantic trap. This little brother has never respected a person but has to say I respect brother Bi Yu. The one who spoke was a large man that looked to be in his forties. He had a pair of bright eyes. Brother Ming is too complimentary. Bi Yu Hang bowed slightly and said with a smile, if it wasn't for brother Ming, this one would not dare to act so dangerously. Going with the flow. Brother Bi Yu is a true genius. Ming Wei clapped his hand sand praised, you have such an elite battalion. If you can take this Jia, the power of the Yaksha clan will increase exponentially. The Yaksha clan's prosperity is in sight. I do not think so. A beautiful female next to Ming Wei couldn't resist smiling coldly and said, the world respects the authority of great peace. We have already broken and spoken rules by preparing to attack them. If Bi Yu Daren leads the Yaksha clan in taking this territory, people will most likely come to attack you. Ming Wei hurriedly said in apology, Brother Bi Yu, please forgive. This one has spoiled sister very much. Do not keep her nonsense on your mind. Bi Yu Hang shook his head. Brother Ming does not have to be so. Miss Yu Wei is right. He suddenly raised his head and gazed at Great Peace City in the distance. He said lightly, however, how can there be a perfect solution in such troubled times? If one does not advance and retreats, they will die without a fight. Ming Yu Wei was startled when Bi Yu Hang said such harsh words in such a light tone. If one does not want their clan to have to submit to others, then one needs to have a place of their own. My green Yaksha clan has roamed for too long, the clan's people have a hard life, and the branch families mostly live as marauders, living off banditry. Boo's wish is to conquer a place for my clan to rest. These are troubled times, but even if this was a peaceful time, Bi Yu might still fight. Ming Yu Wei was stunned by the speech while Ming Wei showed admiration. He said with a laugh, Brother Boo's words are great. A man should be like this in life. However, in my opinion, there is nothing wrong in raiding. It is an exciting life. Bi Yu Hang's subordinates looked with respectful and reverent expressions at Bi Yu Hang from behind him. This little brother can only envy the freedom of Brother Ming. However, there is nothing to be done about ties to the family. As for the future attacks that Miss Yu Wei speaks about, it is possible, but there is nothing to worry about in the short term, Bi Yu Hang said confidently. 
The major factions that are close to Great Peace are too busy fighting against the Xiaoje now and do not have attention to spare. If Brother Ming cleans up all the traces, and not leave anything behind, no one can find an excuse to attack us. Also, if I have a buffer time, I will definitely be able to create an even stronger battalion. The last words were steely and strong confidence was evident. This little sister has worried too much. Brother Bi Yu, please forgive my rudeness just now. Ming Yu Wei suddenly bowed with a serious expression. Bi Yu Hang hurriedly returned the bow. Miss Yu Wei is too polite. Brother Bi Yu seems to be very familiar with the Great Peace Treasure Pavilion, can you tell us more, Ming Wei said. I only know that there is a stone steel within it. Bi Yu Hang said gravely, I do not know much. It was just coincidence that I learned some things. There are three treasures in the Great Peace Treasure Pavilion. I know of one of the others but not of the last. What is the other treasure? Ming Wei was very curious. Bi Yu Hang slowly said, Anti Dragon Claw. Ming Wei and his sister's expression changed dramatically. Ming Wei exclaimed, Skymo weapon anti Dragon Claw. Impossible. A hint of desire flashed across Bi Yu Hang's eyes but it quickly cleared up. It really is one of the ten great Skymo weapons, the anti Dragon Claw. I was also very surprised when I learned this. Brother Ming, you must know of the history of the anti Dragon Claw. While I do not know how Grandmaster Shi Zi Ming obtained it, but since it was hidden for so many years, it seems that even the Grand Master had been afraid of the inauspicious history of the weapon. Ming Wei recovered from his shock and said when he heard this, inauspiciousness. If a Mo weapon is auspicious, is it even a Mo weapon? Something used to kill, it is best for it to be inauspicious. His gaze was burning hot. I am even more curious about the last treasure. No matter what, it is Brother Ming's. Bi Yu Hang's expression was normal. However, Brother Ming, do not let any of them escape. Ha, Brother Bi Yu, don't worry. My Ming bandits have a nasty reputation but we do not break our word. Ming Wei laughed viciously and said, Those young masters are the top-notch fat sheep, as to the three princesses, they can be maids for sister. Brother Ming needs to be careful. The three princesses all have experts with them, Bi Yu Hang reminded. Brother Bi Yu, many thanks for the reminder. Ming Wei said laughingly, against an army, the experts are just so. Ha, it wasn't a waste to come, we will definitely make a profit. Suddenly, Ming Yu Wei's gaze moved and her expression changed slightly. She pointed at Great Peace City in the distance and shouted in shock, look. Everyone followed her finger and looked. Their expressions all changed. The pillar of light that connected the earth to the sky suddenly disappeared. At this time, the steel forest was pulled up hundreds of jong from the ground. Looking from afar, they were like a lonely pillar of stone, but nearby, people unconsciously stopped breathing when they looked at them. The sides of the stone pillar were smooth as though they had been cut and polished. The black material was as warm as jade. The area taken over by the steel forest was over hundreds of mu and when they were all pulled up, the thick stone pillar covered with exquisite mo matrixes was a wondrous sight. The black sea outside Great Peace had been restless starting when the Great Peace treasure pavilion had come out of the ground, and wailed like ghosts. Yet at this moment, the sea quieted. All of Great Peace City sank into a strange silence. Crack. A stone steel dropped from above the stone pillars and shattered when it hit the ground. This was. Everyone had shocked expressions and a strong feeling, it was coming. Crack. Crack. The stone stells continuously fell down. Following that was a string of cracks. Countless lines quickly spread across the thick black pillar. In a blink, the cracks covered all of the stone pillar. The sudden change shocked everyone. They unconsciously stopped fighting and looked at the stone pillar that was about to transform. Whoosh. It was not a loud sound but it was like a signal. The stone pillar covered in cracks began crumbling apart. Fragments of various sizes came down like a rock slide. The people close by paled and hurriedly flew into the air to retreat. As they flew and looked back, their pupils contracted. They couldn't help but stop breathing. Oh, heavens. Above that pile of rock, an enormous dragon claw that was hundreds of jong large was floating in the air. The anti dragon claw that was seeing the light of day again seemed unusually excited and the five digits lightly tensed. Boom. A vast vicious energy suddenly ripped into the surroundings like a violent tide. Careful. Zhu Ke and the other two disengaged from Lin Qian and appeared immediately in front of their respective princesses. Boom. Light lit up on the bodies of the three as they managed to stop the vicious energy that reached them. Every one of them had a serious expression. The guards around them were blown away by the violent wave of energy like dried grass in the wind. Lin Qian's expression was shocked as the Taya sword was braced in front of him. When the vicious energy swept past, the Taya sword hummed and shook violently. Qi Diao Yu, Chong Yuan Hao, and the others managed to withstand this vicious energy. But those that were weaker were wounded if they tried to resist. After the wave passed, it was completely silent and everyone had ashen faces. This item was so vicious it was shocking. Just its energy was so powerful. How terrifying would it be if it was used at full power? At this time, the ones that were still standing were either experts from Great Peace City or from the four major sects. But when these experts raised their heads to look at the enormous Dragon Claw, their minds wavered. Anti Dragon Claw. Someone shouted and everyone shook. Even Lin Qian couldn't help the expression of shock that appeared on his face. As the eldest disciple of Kun Lun, he naturally knew of this name. Anti Dragon Claw. 
Zhu Ke's gaze became unfocused for a quick moment before he quickly recovered. However, the heat in his eyes could not be disguised. The other people also had burning gazes. Anti-Dragonclaw, one of the ten great Skymo weapons. No wonder it was so powerful and vicious. Skymo weapon, the strongest Mo weapons. Every Skymo weapon was a legend. Of the ten great Skymo weapons, there were only three whose locations were known and the people who possessed them were the strongest in the Mo realm. It was the Mo weapon that everyone Mo dreamed of. Wait. That was. Everyone's gazes focused and landed on the shadow cast by the lower half of the anti-dragonclaw. It was Xiao Mo Zhe that had just went underground. One of his hands was touching the anti-dragonclaw. His eyes were closed as he silently floated in the air. Compared to the enormous size of the anti-dragonclaw, Xiao Mo Zhe was as small as an ant. Adding on that he was in the shadow of the anti-dragonclaw, no one had initially noticed him. But when people noticed his existence, their expressions changed. He was. Lin Qian's expression changed slightly. Even he had felt pressured by the power of that vicious energy but Xiao Mo Zhe hadn't reacted at all. He was trying to claim the anti-dragonclaw. When this thought flashed through Lin Qian's mind, the next thought was stop him. He still did not remember who Xiao Mo Zhe was but his intuition told him this was someone dangerous. Lin Qian's murderousness was burning but he did not act. He was searching for the stone steel of legend. He did not understand why he felt such strong murderousness toward Xiao Mo Zhe but at this moment, the stone steel was more important. With the stone steel, Kun Lun would find the key to cultivating Shen power. His gaze suddenly focused. There, in the pile of stones under the anti-dragon claw, there was a small section of a gray and nondescript stone steel showing. Without hesitation, Lin Qian shot at that steel like lightning. Also at this time, Zhuo Mo's tightly closed eyes opened. That pair of indifferent and icy eyes reflected everything. He was like a god in the air coldly gazing down at the figure moving so fast it was near impossible to spot. Chapter 624, Attack the other people present might not have spotted Lin Qian's charge, but Zhu Kei and the two others who had fought against him had been keeping an eye on him. They were extremely wary of Lin Qian. When Lin Qian moved, the three moved in tandem. Murderousness filled their minds. Previously, the situation had been unclear and they had other considerations. Now with the anti-dragon claw in the air, the Mo skill steel below, the treasure pavilion reappearing, they had no other considerations. Their murderousness could not be suppressed. Mid-air, light flowed through the red and blue eyes. His long hair danced in the wind. Lin Qian knew that this was the time when victory was to be decided, he suddenly shouted, Kun Lun. Kun Lun. The sword Shu of Kun Lun responded. Almost at the same time, they threw their flying swords at Lin Qian. Light rose in the air as the swords flew across the sky. The seven flying swords had seven different sword essences, cool and dim, or blinding and bright, or pressuring, or heavy, they were all from Kun Lun. While they were different, they were all passed over to Lin Qian at the same moment the three people moved, the seven sword lights flashed and had gathered in front of Lin Qian. At some time, Lin Qian had turned around and faced the three people. His expression was grave, his right eye cold as ice, his left burning as fire. The seven sword essences Chris crossed in front of him and formed a seven-colored wheel. His appraised tie a sword tip was the center where the seven swords spun. A dot of light suddenly was emitted from the sword tip. Kill. A sound came from Lin Qian's tongue. The air in front of him seemed to be heavily impacted and exploded. The seven swords revolved in counterclockwise direction like a flower blooming. The seven-colored wheel of light expanded to about 10 mu in size in a flash. It was like an enormous net that came crashing down on the trio. Inside the sword wheel, sword essence roiled like the enormous maw of a gaping beast about to consume the people. Zhu Kei's expression changed slightly as he shouted, You want to die. The middle-aged attendant's gaze was cold and she was clearly angry. Shaw's right leg braced against the ground, the long spear raised as his presence increased continuously. Pew pew. Two water droplets shot through the chest of a Kun Lun sword shoe and created two blooms of blood. The pupils of this Kun Lun sword shoe suddenly expanded as he dropped down. Bam, he fell onto the ground like a block of wood. On the face covered by the billowing dust, a slightly difficult smile slowly froze. Qi Diao Yu's expression changed slightly. He had made a successful sneak attack but he had intended to disturb these Kun Lun sword shoe. That killing move was clearly a battle formation technique. It was powerful but it required a high level of teamwork. Qi Diao Yu had originally thought that when these sword shoe were threatened, they would recall their flying swords. But this Kun Lun sword Shu would die rather than call his flying sword. Kun Lun. For some reason, Qi Diao Yu felt a chill. Other people saw that in Zuo Mo's hand was on the anti dragon claw, but they didn't know that the anti dragon claw was covered in invisible threads. Zuo Mo's hand was among these threads. In Zuo Mo's sea of consciousness, Pu dazedly murmured, 3,000 threads of worry. There really are 3,000 threads of worry in this world. When Wei heard Pu Yao's words, his body shook. Shock climbed onto his face. He exclaimed, 3,000 threads of worry. 3,000 threads of worry. Knowing the name of the threads wasn't of any help to Zuo Mo. The other ends of these threads had originally been tied to those skill stells but now that the steel forest was destroyed and the stells shattered, these thin threads lost their anchors and floated in the air. They floated in the air like seagrasses and rippled with the wind. 
No one noticed their existence except for Zuomo. The area that Zuomo had reached into was where the threads were thickest, and the central part of the threads. He was touching a small bead, no, more accurately, it was a clear ball of something like mist. If it wasn't that his vision was modified by his state, and his hand was directly touching it, he would not have noticed it. But in his gaze, he could see that it was a bead. All the slender threads extended from this bead. When Zuomo touched this bead, all the thin threads that floated in the air and wrapped around the anti-dragon claw suddenly froze. The anti-dragon claw that had been so vicious and pressuring also froze. That transparent ball of mist suddenly became burning hot like molten metal. If Zuo Mo was in his usual state, his first reaction would be to release his grip and throw away the object. But at this time, in an inhuman state, Zuo Mo was unaffected. It was as though what was being burned was not his hand. He looked coldly at the bead without any change. The feeling of burning increased. Even though Zuo Mo had superior strength from cultivating the Ten Crow Celestial Apparatus, he felt it was slightly burdensome now, and his hand started to tremble. In his vision, the threads floating and waving in the sky suddenly moved to wrap around him as though they encountered danger. The thin threads wrapped around the anti-dragon claw reflexively tightened. The anti-dragon claw started to tremble violently. The vicious anti-dragon claw didn't have any power to resist these thin threads. Facing the incoming threads, Zuo Mo did not dodge and reached out his left hand. The threads were unusually quick and tightly wrapped around Zuo Mo in a flash. Zuo Mo finally felt the suppression that the anti-dragon claw did. These threads were terrifyingly strong. Once he was tied, he felt as though he was unable to breathe. Even if his Ten Crow Celestial Apparatus Mo Physique was the third ranking Mo Physique in general level, it was as fragile as paper in front of such power. At this time, a light suddenly flashed across Zuo Mo's cold and emotionless eyes. He was an experienced hunter and had patiently waited for a chance. When the chance appeared in front of him, he did not hesitate. He suddenly acted. The death of his Shidi did not affect Lin Qian at all. But in the depths of his icy right eye, an emotion that was hard to describe flashed and disappeared. His movements did not pause at all. As the sword wheel moved towards the three that were the greatest threat to him, he had already turned around. Like a large bird spreading its wings, he charged at the stone steel. The area in front of him was flat and without any obstructions. In the sky, the anti-dragon claw violently trembled. Xiao Mo Zhe seemed to be taming it. Lin Qian forced his murderousness down and still aimed for the stone steel. With Xiao Mo Ji's present strength, it was akin to death to seek to tame the anti-dragon claw. It would be impossible to subdue such a vicious object without being martial level or having a special method. This was not something that could be solved by talent. Treasures like Skymo weapons had to go through tribulations to form. There were too many chance occurrences required to tame it. Lin Qian didn't have any thoughts of taming the anti-dragon claw. As to the third treasure of the Great Peace Treasure Pavilion in Legend, he was curious but it was just curiosity. Up until now, he still hadn't seen it. However, even if he saw it, he would not act even if it was tempting. He only had one goal. The Mo skill steal. He was extremely quick. At this time, there were no other people in his field of view. Even with his composure, his heart couldn't help but beat faster. If he could obtain the great piece Mo skill steel, he had absolute confidence no one could take it from him. Even if he was the only one left, he had the confidence he could take the stone steel and kill his way back to Kun Lun. Closer. Almost in his hand. Just as a hint of irrepressible joy flashed through Lin Qian's eyes, a figure suddenly shot out of the stone debris. Lin Qian's pupils contracted. His reaction was rapid. The Taiya sword in his right hand stabbed at the figure. A blinding spark lit up on the sword tip of the Taiya sword. A Wen was covered in dust as he climbed out of the rubble. When the maze had suddenly collapsed, they had almost been buried alive. However, they reacted quickly. The moment the maze collapsed, they had cast Yao arts to protect themselves. Otherwise, with the Yao's relatively weak bodies, they would have turned to meat paste. At this time, the benefits of cultivating a Mo physique like a Wen did was clear. He fought his way out of the pile of stones relying just on his strong body. However, the moment he came out and without knowing the situation, a terrifying sword essence locked onto him. His expression immediately turned pale. The sword essence was so strong it was almost unimaginable. His soul almost left his body. But the harsh training of guard camp showed the results. His mind was completely blank but his body instinctively reacted. The armored plumes on his body vibrated in unison as his Mo skill was channeled to its maximum. The Mo spear in his hand, he instinctively took a step forward, and a textbook stab was completed like lightning. Without any thinking, he breathed and shouted, kill. At the tip of the Mo spear, a thick black spear energy flashed and shot out of the void just in front of the Taya sword. Under the pile of stone debris, a purple arrow light suddenly flew out. It drew out a rule straight streak of light in the air and aimed at Lin Qian. It was Nan Yu's South Sky Arrow Art. A layer of faint green gray mist that rippled strangely spread towards Lin Qian's feet in a blink. Kang Zi's Gray Scar Art. Both the purple energy and the green gray mist had a watery tinge that was hard to see with the eye. Ming Ju Zi's Water Wood Light Art. The ground under Lin Qian's feet suddenly crumbled. A strange field suddenly surrounded him. It was like an invisible rope that caught him. Haha. <laughs> a man that can lasso a horse is strong and masculine. The orange-haired Yao's heartless laugh came from the pile of stones. 
The black smoke Yao did not attack but leapt straight for the stone steel. He knew that he was the weakest but he was extremely smart, he immediately found the best way to disrupt the other's thoughts. Everyone had been working together for a long time and had built up their teamwork. In this attack, their cooperation and timing had been perfect. And this was the first fight after their power had increased. Every attack contained all of their strength. It was definitely their strongest ever attack. The killing intent filled the air. Chapter 625 Assimilation Surprise flickered across Lin Qian's mind. He was not threatened by the power of these attacks but what he was surprised at was that the Mo skills and Yao arts these people cultivated were not normal. It was just because they were not strong enough yet to express the power of their Mo skills and Yao arts that he was able to deal with them. Who were these people? Lin Qian was slightly shocked but with the stone steel within reach, he did not plan on wasting time on these questions. The Taiya sword did not waver as it stabbed forward. The spear energy, the purple arrow energy, the green-gray ripples, they all seemed to sink into a bog and suddenly slowed down. The Taiya sword also shook once. Pia! The lights shattered. A Wen and the others were sent flying as though they were hit with hammers. Lin Qian's body wavered slightly. His expression changed slightly. When the Taya sword had come into contact with the energies, he found that there was a layer of a faint and strange power covering them. Even so, he had the power to defeat them but he hadn't expected that the restraining power that came from under him was acting one wave after another, in the form of three waves. With the two other waves interfering, he had lost slightly. His mind shook. He knew that he had underestimated these people. These few were not strong but their teamwork was good. He also had let down his guard after the hard fight just now. Damn it. Lin Qian's retaliation was unusually strong including the black smoke Yao, everyone was thrown far away as though they were hit by charging wild beasts. Attacking in anger, Lin Qian's attack was very exquisite. Killing them was not as important as getting the stone steel. But when two figures suddenly appeared in front of him, Lin Qian's pupils abruptly contracted, for the first time, he stopped moving. A strong suction force suddenly formed from the spirit consciousness and Ling power inside Zuo Mo's body. The slender threads were immediately pulled into his body without any warning. There was no change in his cold thinking. Like a puppet, Zuo Mo controlled his body. There were three treasures in the Great Peace Treasure Pavilion. When Zuo Mo saw the thin strands covering the anti dragon claw, he realized that these slender threads restraining the anti dragon claw was the third treasure. In an icy state, Zuo Mo was unusually sensitive. The stone steel had reminded him that he could only find the world in this icy state. When he confirmed that these slender threads were the third treasure, he thought that obtaining these threads would be related to his icy state. The icy state was produced because his spiritual consciousness and his Ling power continuously went into his body. These slender threads definitely had something to do with spiritual consciousness and Ling power. The slender threads continued to burrow into Zuo Mo's body, his thoughts were still calm. Zuo Mo's daring surpassed Pu Yao and Wei's expectations. They gaped with wide eyes as they looked at Zuo Mo's mad action. They almost didn't believe their eyes. Zuo Mo was slightly fickle but it was rare to see him do such a crazy thing. Was this the influence of his present state? The two did not know but their hearts were in the air. This guy is crazy. Pu Yao's voice trembled. It wasn't that he had never seen treasures before. He had been a Sky Yao. But because he had seen many treasures, he felt that Zuo Mo was insane. The more powerful the treasure, other than chance encounters, the more strength one needed. The top treasures all had intelligence and chose their masters. Those without strength would not be able to even tolerate the power of the treasure and would die immediately. Seeing a good treasure and charging up to grab it was the best way of dying immediately. Thinking how Zuo Mo was just in general rank now, his heart trembled. This guy is greedy to the bone. He doesn't want to live. Pu Yao gritted his teeth and shouted. He and Wei were both in Zuo Mo's sea of consciousness. If Zuo Mo died, they would naturally turn to dust with him. Wei was silent for a moment and then said with a smile, Don't you feel that he has the same mannerisms as Master? Pu Yao stilled. That face appeared in front of his eyes. He blinked, and a thread of pain in his heart dissipated. He said coldly, She was martial level. The anti-dragon claw should not end up in the hands of anyone else. Wei raised his head and murmured as he looked at the enormous anti-dragon claw. The words voiced what Pu Yao thought. He was silent. It is definitely impossible for a general to subdue the anti-dragon claw, Wei said directly. I experienced the entire process of master subduing the anti-dragon claw. With her martial strength, she still almost lost her life. The key to subduing is on the 3000 threads of worry. Pu Yao was still silent. Wei raised his head to gaze at the anti-dragon claw and said, Shi Zi Ming is a true genius and found something that is a bane to the anti-dragon claw. 3000 threads of worry, it really is true to the name, even the most brutal power cannot hold against threads of worry. Pu Yao said solemnly, I do not know much about the 3000 threads of worry. I just know that it is one of the most mysterious Yao star cores. There are some rare mentions of it in history but just a few mentions. It is said only those that cultivate both spiritual consciousness and Ling power can see it. Wei nodded. Azuo's strategy appears to be correct. This boy is filled with strangeness. Pu Yao's tone became normal. After some thought, he suddenly said, there is a stupid method to taking a Yao star core, it is to assimilate it. Just as his words came out, a light flashed across Zuo Mo's cold eyes. Assimilation. 
At this time, countless thin strands headed into the depths of his body. They were just like Zuo Mo's consciousness and Ling power. Following the rush of threads, Zuo Mo suddenly felt a thread of thought that was slightly timid. The Yao Star Core. Zuo Mo didn't hesitate and the soul-setting divine light inside his body flowed like a fish along Zuo Mo's arm into the Yao Star Core in Zuo Mo's hand. The Yao Star Core suddenly froze. Three thousand threads of worry was suddenly filled with terror and panic. It was like a child that was scared and didn't dare to move. Even the slender threads that were moving into Zuo Mo's body froze. The soul-setting divine light pulled the Yao Star Core slowly into Zuo Mo's palm. Soul-setting divine light. Wei looked dazedly at this scene. The soul-setting divine light's inheritance had always been with him but he had never comprehended it and didn't know that it was so powerful. Pu Yao was also slightly dumbstruck. Even the three thousand threads of worry was so docile in front of it. The Yao Star Core merged into Zuo Mo's left palm. When it completely merged into Zuo Mo's palm, Zuo Mo felt all the pressure restraining his body disappear. A handful of slender threads came out of his body and connected to the anti-dragon claw. At the center of the sunscript on Zuo Mo's left hand, there was a little star. It would be extremely hard to notice if one did not pay attention. Zuo Mo was not content. Taking advantage of the chance, he raised his head and his cold gaze swept across the mountainous anti-dragon claw. The anti-dragon claw shook. Zuo Mo had accepted Princess Sha's arrangements but out of consideration of safety, he still decided to bring a Gui and Sang Lianer along. At this most important time, the two appeared. Sang Lianer was dressed in black as she stood. Her gaze was blurred as she said serenely, Kun Lun Sword Shu, why come to our Mo territories to steal our treasures? A Gui did not speak and looked expressionlessly at Lin Qian. Lin Qian's expression was grave and he did not seem to hear it. All of his Ling power was channeled. The Taya sword was held horizontally in front of him. A thread of blue appeared in his right red eye and a flicker of fire appeared in his blue left eye. His expression was devout. Kun Lun. As though he used all the power in his body, the shout that came from his chest was forceful. Sang Lianer's onyx eyes suddenly became as bright as stars. Her serene voice was uncertain in the air. Kun Lun sword Shu, so vicious, are you not afraid of karma? Her sleeve seemed to flow weakly towards Lin Qian. Just as Sang Lianer acted, purple energy flashed across Agui's eyes. Her hand suddenly flicked at Lin Qian. The moment the two attacked, under the sword wheel, Zhu Ke and the middle-aged attendant's expressions changed. Xia's body shook slightly. None of them had expected the two females with Xiao Mo Zhe to be so powerful. For the first time, they felt wary of Xiao Mo Zhe. What was the origin of this youth? Lin Qian ignored the attack from the two. His gaze focused on the Taiya sword as he cut down without hesitation. Under this chop, all the air within Ten Li seemed to solidify. In the world, there was only the Taya sword, the power from the three collided in a show of strength. Boom. The deep explosion exploded in people's minds. In this moment, everyone seemed to lose control of their body. Their blood and muscles shook. When the sound dissipated and they recovered, their expressions changed. On the battlefield, Sang Lianer's sleeve had exploded up to her elbows. A large hole that was fifty jong was under Agui's feet. Other than the stone steel, everything else had been torn to pieces. A thread of blood flowed out of Lin Qian's mouth as he stared with his red and blue eyes at the two. He reached up to wipe the blood from his mouth. With his right hand holding the dimmed Taya sword, he said coolly, I hadn't expected to encounter two experts that cultivate Shen power. When these words came out, all the Mo present were shocked. Shen power. These two females cultivated Shen power. Sang Lianer was intimidated. Lin Qian stated the two of them cultivated Shen power because he wanted to make them the targets. If the other Mo had other desires, the situation would turn to chaos again. She detected the gazes that had all focused on her. Everyone's gazes became suspicious and hesitant. This man was really powerful and cunning. She knew that nothing she could say now could help. Once the seed of suspicion was planted, it could not be killed. So Kun Lun Sword Shu make a living based on their mouth. Sang Lianer said coolly. Her hands moved into a strange position. The purple energy in Agui's eyes increased. Lin Qian did not fear her and said with a smile, You might cultivate Shen power but it is a pity. One has just started and the other's soul is corroded. You do not qualify to stop me. At this time, a cold voice suddenly came from the sky. Qualifications. What qualifications are needed to kill the people of Kun Lun? Chapter 626, A Sword Strike and a Block. The one who spoke was Zuo Mo. One of his hands was pulling the three thousand threads of worry as his body hung from the anti-dragon claw. However, in the eyes of everyone else, his posture was very strange because they could not see the three thousand threads of worry in his hand. Everyone on the battlefield turned to look at Zuo Mo. Even Zhu Ke and the other two inside the sword wheel couldn't help but slow down. But the one most shocked was Lin Qian. His heart jumped. Had Xiao Mo Zhe tamed the anti-dragon claw? Impossible. Mo weapons like the anti-dragon claw were not something that general level Mo could tame. However, why didn't the anti-dragon claw respond? The anti-dragon claw was famed for its savagery and viciousness, how could it tolerate someone close to it? Lin Qian, expression was normal but he was shocked inside. His murderousness towards Xiao Mo Zhe was so strong, even he was surprised about it. But he had forcibly suppressed the murderousness. 
The stone steel was the priority, and he had thought Xiao Mo Zhe would turn to ash under the backlash of the anti dragon claw. But Xiao Mo Zhe was untouched. This was unexpected to him. He suddenly found that there were too many unexpected occurrences today. The group of people emerging from the pile of rubble was unexpected, the two women who cultivated Shen power were unexpected. Almost everything unexpected was related to Xiao Mo Zhe. Thinking about his thoughts of killing Xiao Mo Zhe, Lin Qian grimaced. Had this been heaven's will? This thought only flashed through his mind and his eyes lit up again. The dim Taya sword rose again. His blue and red eyes were unfathomably deep. The situation was disadvantageous to him. He was already uncertain he could defeat the two women in front of him. Now add on Xiao Mo Zhe. The sword wheel would not last for much longer, he did not have a lot of time left. He took a deep breath. At this time, all words were a waste to him. Only two words could awaken his fighting spirits and motivation. Kun Lun. The light words were full of determination as it echoed. The other Kun Lun sword Shu changed expression. Eldest Shishong was going all out. The dim Taya sword shook and suddenly released a blinding and burning light. The sparks flew off as the blade moved. Lin Qian stood up straight. His usually gentle brow was fierce and determined, and his face pale. He was like an unsheathed sword. The ground continued to tremble. The vast sword essence was like a lead cloud that weighed down on people. The ground underneath Lin Qian cracked, split and crumbled to form a perfectly round pit. The edges of the round hole was rapidly spreading outwards. It was unable to be stopped. At the same time, the Taya sword that was like a firework sparkler. It gave off a grievous hum as it melted. A hint of sorrow flashed across Lin Qian's face but his movement did not stop. His sword arm decisively chopped into the air. The grieving hum of the Taya sword echoed through Great Peace City. The blinding light suddenly expanded and a terrifying sword essence immediately covered all of Great Peace City. As though a sun was rising at Great Peace City, roar. A savage and vicious roar was like thunder. The ground shook as though it was being hammered, all of Great Peace City shook. The vast wave of air was like a hard wall that swept outwards. Those that were weak were thrown into the air as though they were hit by something. Even Zhu Ke and the other were almost unable to stay standing. All of them stumbled and had to use all their strength to steady themselves. The blood drained from their faces. Even they couldn't help but feel fear in the face of such a terrifying sword essence. The terrifying wave of air that was like a metal wall rolled through Great Peace City. When the light dissipated and the scene appeared in front of them, all of them had ashen complexions. More than half of the soaring structures in Great Peace City had been been cut down. But when they recovered from their shock, they immediately looked towards the steel forest. Lin Qian stood upright like a sword. Between himself and Xiao Mo Zhe stood a dragon claw. Near the two, the ground had been erased. Only the ground under Xiao Mo Zhe had not disappeared. It was like a slice of cake had been cut from the earth and stretched out behind him. Zuo Mo used the anti dragon claw to block this blow. At the crucial moment, he channeled the 3,000 threads of worry and pushed the anti dragon claw in front of him to stop Lin Qian's sword strike. The anti dragon claw had shrank after enduring this blow and became Zuo Mo's height. Zhu Ke and the others stared with wide eyes and looked in disbelief at Zuo Mo. Even they didn't dare to touch the power of that blow just now, and Xiao Mo Zhe had managed to stop it. Xiao Mo Zhe had really tamed the anti dragon claw. They had no more doubts. If he had not done so, Xiao Mo Zhe would not be able to stop the power of that sword strike with his own power. Lin Qian's strength shocked them but Xiao Mo Ji's display was even more unexpected. A general level was able to subdue the anti-dragon claw. It was absurd to hear but it happened in front of them. From the moment Xiao Mo Zhe had appeared in Great Peace City, a string of impossible events had continued to occur. The worldly apparition shifting star stands, surpassing Qi Diao Yu's record, defeating Shen Yu who had comprehended the Peacock King Plume, causing the Great Peace Treasure Pavilion to appear and now subduing the anti-dragon claw and blocking that stunning blow. He was not favored each time but he would always achieve victory. Xiao Mo Zhe seemed like a freak and there seemed to be a group of freaks around him. This guy. Lin Qian's eyes were stunned and his complexion was ashen white. He had not expected that Xiao Mo Zhe could stop his blow. He had gambled everything on this blow. At a cost of wounding himself, and the Taya sword being destroyed, he had used a secret method to temporarily increase his cultivation in order to use such great power. He had never fought so hard, never. In past battles, he had always been untouched and at ease. He had never lost before, he was always full of confidence in himself. From a very long time ago, he did not participate in the tournaments between the third generation disciples because his strength had even surpassed majority of elders in the sect. At his age, he stood as one of the most outstanding geniuses in Kun Lun's history. Even deep in the Mo territories, he was not afraid, he had absolute confidence in himself. The sect leader had also been full of confidence in their mission. Everyone believed that Lin Qian would not have a match below martial level. Yet the reality in front of him allowed him to discover that his pride was laughable. A general rank youth that was younger than him had easily stopped his most powerful sword strike. Anti Dragon Claw. Looking at the almost living Dragon Claw, for a moment, Lin Qian's eyes were dazed. The power of the Mo weapon. The Taya sword was lacking greatly compared to the Anti Dragon Claw. He knew this well. It was not that Kun Lun did not have better flying swords, but the Taya sword was the most powerful sword that he could currently use. 
He did not have enough cultivation for the ancient and great flying swords sealed in the sword pavilion. But this guy who was just general level had tamed the anti-dragon claw. This completely upended his knowledge of the world. No wonder he felt murderousness towards the other, was this a fated enemy? Lin Qian smiled. He was not an ordinary person and quickly recovered his calm, but he knew that he did not have any more power to fight, he had truly failed in his mission. He quickly recovered his confidence and the red and blue retreated from his eyes. He looked at Zuo Mo and suddenly said in a loud voice, This one is the first seated disciple of Kun Lun, Lin Qian. Xiao Mo Zhe, if you and I ever meet, let us fight again. Finishing, Lin Qian turned and walked away. Pew, the stone steel behind Zuo Mo turned to powder. Yet at this time, no one dared to speak. Everyone was deeply attracted to this figure of extraordinary presence. Many people showed realization. The first seated disciple of Kun Lun, no wonder he was so extraordinary. No one dared to stop him. The remaining Kun Lun sword Shu silently flew next to Lin Qian and formed a defensive perimeter around him. Everyone in Great Peace City would remember the name Lin Qian. But then everyone turned to look at Zuo Mo. If it wasn't for Xiao Mo Zhe, all of the Mo in Great Peace City would have ended up as side axe to Lin Qian. Many people felt great pity that the Mo skill steel had been destroyed but compared to it being stolen by Lin Qian, everyone could accept the present result. This battle was fated to shake all of the Mo territories. They were undoubtedly a minor accompaniment in a battle like this, and it was a humiliation for them. In the eyes of the world, Xiao Mo Zhe who had stopped Lin Qian was the hero of the Mo. This youth that had come out of nowhere and was of unknown origins. Along with this battle, his name would spread throughout the Mo territories. Yet no one realized that an even greater danger was silently marching towards them. Zuo Mo was completely void of strength and unable to move, his eyes were filled with shock and fear. Lin Qian's blow had managed to force himself out of his icy state. If he hadn't used the 3,000 threads of worry to pull the anti-dragon claw in front of him at the crucial moment, he wouldn't have been able to survive. Terrifying and unparalleled strength. Even if Zuo Mo had a deep hatred of Kun Lun, he couldn't help but feel terror at Lin Qian's power. He was unable to imagine how this person had cultivated. He had never underestimated Kun Lun's power but when he truly fought against Kun Lun, he found that Kun Lun's strength was even greater than he had predicted. Just one Lin Qian was so powerful, he really couldn't imagine it. Zuo Mo laughed. His thoughts of finding Kun Lun and getting revenge seemed so laughable and out of his reach. But no matter how laughable and distant it was, so what? Who made it so that we had a grievance to settle? Fighting spirit flashed through Zuo Mo's eyes and he became motivated again. His expression suddenly changed and he wailed, Agwe, Agwe, help me, my feet are trembling, I can't stand up, can't stand up. When his gaze casually looked into the sky, he froze. There was a dense group of black dots in the air like a black cloud coming at a rapid speed. Zuo Mo's eyes were keen and his expression changed. That was a charging formation. He suddenly used all the strength he had and shouted at the top of his lungs, Shu Long. Chapter 627, The Ming Bandits The estate that Shu Long and the others lived in was not left unscathed under Lin Qian's blow and collapsed, but because they had been preparing to leave, all of them were unharmed. When Zuo Mo's shout howled out, all of guard camp suddenly shot into the air like a drawn bowstring. With a few jumps, they appeared next to Zuo Mo. They had finished forming a battle formation in the air. When they landed next to Zuo Mo, they surrounded him in the middle. The movements was so dazzling that all those who noticed this scene had strange looks on their faces. Find a Wen and the others. Zuo Mo asked gravely, is everyone else here? All here. Shu Long nodded reliably. Behind him, several figures flew out and quickly found a Wen and the others. Zuo Mo noticed Xiao Guo and Li Ying Feng among the group and Li Ying Feng was carrying Luo Li on her back. His nerves immediately relaxed. When he saw Bi Han and Sin Battalion, his expression eased further. But his brow quickly furrowed again. The black dots in the sky became increasingly clear. The battalion that was flying towards them was astoundingly large. From the scale, it probably had more than 10,000 people. Bi Han, prepare to fight. Zuo Mo lost his politeness at this time and briskly ordered. Bi Han's cold face remained motionless. He nodded and turned to leave. Miss Sang. Please give the command of the Celestial Planet Guards to me, Zuo Mo said with a serious expression. Sang Lianer did not waste words and shouted, Shou Ping. Present. Shou Ping immediately came out of the ranks. Miss Battle just now had frightened him half to death and the reveal of Miss Strength had shocked him. From now, you will be under Xiao Mo Zhe Daren's command. Anyone who disobeys will be executed. Sang Lianer swept Shou Ping with a glance and said in a light tone. Shou Ping's heart shook and he responded respectfully, Yes. The Ming Bandits. The Ming bandits have come, in the sky, many Mo stumbled as they landed. Their faces were ashen and their expressions filled with terror. Ming bandits. Great Peace City exploded. Even Zhu Kei and the others suddenly changed expression. Zuo Mo saw Dao Xing's bloodless face. His lips were trembling and he was clearly extremely terrified. Zuo Mo asked, who are the Ming bandits? Dao Xing's throat was dry and his expression as gray as it could be. We are definitely going to die now. Ming bandits. Ming bandits, they are a group of lawless bandits. Lawless bandits. Zuo Mo paused. 
At his side, some members of the guard camp had expressions of scorn. They had killed many bandits on their journey here. The strongest bandits, the one who spoke was Tang Fei. At this moment, this handsome young woman with a ponytail had a trace of fear on her face. They come like the wind, kill people and are extremely cruel. Their leader is called Ming Wei. This person is an astounding genius. Even though he is young, he is only a step away from martial level. He has many experts under his command. They are all the elites of the other bandit groups that he has taken over. This person is extremely ambitious and is as sly as a wolf. He is someone no one wants to provoke. Zuo Mo understood some of this. After a moment of thought, he said to Tang Fei, starting from now, I'm going to command your battalion. Tang Fei opened her mouth but did not speak. Dao Xing heard this and his expression relaxed slightly. He nodded repeatedly and said, good good good, Tang Fei, listen well to Darren's orders. Tang Fei lowered her head and accepted the order, yes. At this time, Zuo Mo did not have the attention to spare for Tang Fei's willingness or the lack thereof. The Ming bandits were coming quick and a hard battle would not be able to be avoided. Right now, anything he could get was something that he could use. Ming bandits. The middle-aged attendant's expression changed slightly. She raised her head to look at the incoming black cloud in the sky and gritted through her teeth, I will take you and break through. You can escape. With your strength, you should be able to break out on your own. If you take me, you will not be able to escape. Princess Sha glanced at her. The middle-aged attendant said lightly, we have been mistress and servant for so many years. I had my own intentions when I started, but I watched you grow up into a young woman. No matter what, I will not abandon you. She looked deeply at Princess Sha and said, You have done enough for the Anwei family, you do not owe them anymore. If you want to take the opportunity to go into hiding, this may be a good chance. A thread of warmth flashed across Princess Sha's eyes. With her hand she combed her slightly ruffled hair. You are giving up? This is probably fate, the middle-aged attendant said lightly. However, her expression seemed to be relieved of a burden. You have given up, but I do not want to surrender like this to fate. Princess Sha's smile blossomed and a differently light flashed through her eyes. The middle-aged attendant showed a hint of shock. It is crueler to forget the things that one does not want to forget. Compared to him, I am much luckier. Princess Sha raised her face and her eyes seemed to be shrouded in mist. She murmured to herself, in these years, I have muddled through and accepted the arrangements of the family. It was not for the Anwei family, but for father. Every time, I would think that the Anwei family was the blood and tears of my father, and I was unable to refuse their requests. Now, I have thought it through. Since I do not want to forget, I will not forget. In the past, I was struggling in my memories and was moved by others like a puppet. When I think about it now, that me was really lacking. Her beautiful face slowly lit up. She stared into the sky and seemed to say to herself, I have to become brave. The Anwei family is the work of my father, and the best way to pay respect to him is to inherit his last wishes and make the Anwei family prosperous. I need to stand up, and not remain down, I will not be a puppet, I want to become the master of the Anwei family. The middle-aged attendant's gaze softened, she had seen how depressed Princess Sha had become after her father had passed away. She was silent for a moment before she said, I will lead you out of here. Her tone held determination rare to her. Princess Sha took her gaze back and smiled mischievously. I have a way. Do you have a way? The middle-aged attendant stilled. They are surrounding us. Miao Jun's expression was grave. He was a gold battle general and had a broader view than other people. He quickly noticed the Ming bandit battalion that appeared at their flanks and rear. The other was trying to corral them in. This was the first time that he had seen the legendary Ming bandits. His mood was as dark as his expression was. As expected of the Ming bandits that were publicly recognized as the strongest bandits. From the initial charge to the maneuver to surround them, the transformation of the formation flowed like water. It was shockingly smooth. The troops looked unorganized but the murderousness that came with battle experience caused Miao Jun's heart to tremble. After seeing this group of terrifying bandits with his own eyes, Miao Jun finally understood why no faction was willing to provoke the Ming bandits. Zuo Mo grimaced. He could also see what Miao Jun saw. But his strength was completely drained and he had not recovered. He swept a look across Xu Long and the others. Their expression was normal but everyone had been affected by that sword strike that swept through all of Great Peace City. Their offensive capabilities were also affected. The Ming bandit did not form a wall to surround them. Instead they were strategically dispersed maintaining appropriate distances between the groups of troops and did not expose any openings. Seeing this, Zuo Mo knew that the enemy was an expert. However, the Ming bandits did not target Lin Qian's group. They were those who only bullied the weak. Zuo Mo cursed them as he threw Lingdan into his mouth. He ordered Xu Long and the others to take the time to recover and receive the hard battle that was going to come. Suddenly, Zuo Mo noticed Princess Sha's group coming over. I know you have a way out so I came to side with you. Princess Sha had a mischievous smile. Zuo Mo grimaced. What way do I have? Then what do we do? Princess Sha's brow furrowed as she looked pleadingly at Zuo Mo. Even if you look at me, I can't create a way. Zuo Mo's expression was one of helplessness, but the next words that came from his mouth was completely the opposite. However, no matter if there is a way or not, we have to fight. His tone was not resolute, nor arousing but a strong fighting spirit permeated from it. For some reason, Princess Shaw immediately felt reassured. She smiled beautifully. I will let you take command of my guards. If I really die, it isn't much. 
we will live and die together. Cough cough cough. When Miao Jun heard this, he burst into coughing. Princess Sha was a beauty, and he felt he was unable to withstand her presence in that moment. Zuo Mo was not affected by the illusory spell. His mind was filled with potential ways of breaking through the encirclement. He did not refuse Princess Sha's submission. In his mind, Princess Sha was his friend and he also owed her a favor. He thought and then asked, how many guards do you have? About 300. Give their command to me. Zuo Mo did not waste words. All right. Princess Sha agreed without another word. A hint of admiration flashed through Zuo Mo's eyes at Princess Sha's decisiveness. Princess Sha's guards were quickly gathered and they were put under Zuo Mo's command. Zuo Mo immediately gave these guards to Miao Jun to lead. A gold battle general could not be wasted. The events that occurred after far surpassed Zuo Mo's expectations. It may have been that Bi Han's battalion had the advantage of numbers but many other people came to throw their lot in with him. Given their familiarity Zuo Mo could understand when the Lan brothers came to him but he didn't understand why Princess Xin and Princess Wan also came. But at this time, he needed more manpower and did not refuse any of them. His request to all of them was the same, hand command of their guards to him. The people also knew the urgency of the situation and cooperated. Zuo Mo had Miao Jun take command of all these guards. At this time, the Ming bandits had finished their encirclement. It was strictly enforced and any Mo that tried to break through were killed on the spot. The pressure created by the army circling the city was suffocating. Zuo Mo felt extremely urgency. If the Ming bandits attacked the city at this moment, then they wouldn't have any power to resist. What he could trust the most right now was only Bi Han's Sin Battalion. There weren't enough of guard camps members here. A Wen and the others were lightly wounded and their strength was affected. Time. They needed time. Just as Zuo Mo was praying that the Ming bandits would not attack the city so quickly, whoosh, the Ming bandit battle battalion suddenly pushed forward. The tangible murderousness filled the air and swept them like an enormous wave. Everyone's expression changed. Were they about to attack the city? At this time, something suddenly happened. Chapter 628, Water Curtain. We are not far from Ji Yu Liang Dao's forces. Gong Sun Cha was off in a daze as he stared at the Jia map. They had been very fast. The string of hard battles at the start had caused their reputation to spread. The major factions along the way had learned to fear them. Also, with a Zha Zhe battalion at the front and many Mo members in Vermilion Bird Camp, no one suspected that they were Xiu The resistance they encountered was much less than Ji Yu Liang Dao. Also, as the people in front of them moved to clear out the way, the factions further up ahead copied them. As Gong Sun Cha's battalion continued to advance, their goal gradually became clear. The factions all noticed that if Gong Sun Cha's battalions continued to advance on this path, there was a high possibility that they would end up fighting Ji Yu Liang Dao. Was this unknown elite force targeting Ji Yu Liang Dao? Many people felt excited at this speculation. The power of Ji Yu Liang Dao had caused fear in the Mo in this area. Some factions that were daring and were closer to Ji Yu Liang Dao's forces had their entire families flee. Ji Yu Liang Dao's advance was so persistent it robbed people of hope. If this elite battalion's target was really Ji Yu Liang Dao. When the Mo factions along the way let out the path, they kept a close watch on Gong Sun Cha battalion with anticipation. It had to be said that Ji Yu Liang Dao was extremely lucky. The entry point he had picked was very good and there were no powerful factions in the area. Just as everyone felt hopeless, suddenly a powerful battalion appeared and had went on a long journey heading straight for Ji Yu Liang Dao. How could these Mo in the area not feel hope? What really made Gong Sun Cha wanted to laugh was that some factions even sent messengers to ask and say that they were willing to offer reinforcements and supplies. Gong Sun Cha also felt wonderment at having becoming the savior that the Mo looked towards, he naturally refused them. But these Mo thought that Gong Sun Cha had refused because this elite battalion was too proud. They deliberately left out supplies along the road without anyone guarded them and permitted Gong Sun Cha and the others to take as they pleased. The factions further along the way copied them in and spoke an agreement. This incorrect speculation didn't just increase the speed of the advance, it also greatly decreased the battalion's exhaustion. Gong Sun Cha's group was like a sharp dagger that flashed through one Jia after another. Until they were almost at the destination, what they were about to face was Ji Yu Liang Dao's battalion. Ji Yu Liang Dao might have encountered more resistance but he had more manpower than Lil, Miss. With the colossus that was Shi Zan behind him, he slowly pushed forward. His method was slow but no one could stop his momentum. Old Field Jia, this little unknown Jia was Lil, Miss Goal this time. According to the path that Ji Yu Liang Dao's advance was taking, Old Field Jia was to be his next target. Gong Sun Cha raised his head and his gaze swept across his commanders. Even though they had undergone a long journey, did not rest at all along the way, and exhaustion could be seen, their morale was high and they were brimming with fighting spirit. Shi Zan's tiger general Ji Yu Liang Dao. Gong Sun Cha suddenly smiled. That pair of clear eyes like that of the neighbor's boy burned with fire. The commanders became alert. They knew that the true battle was about to begin. We need to win this battle. Lil, Miss Tone was gentle as though he was describing something ordinary but every word caused the people to tremble as though electricity was sparking across their skin. Everyone stopped breathing and stood up straight. Only victory. The damaged Great Peace City was filled with rubble. The flat ground was now pitted and looked like a ruin. 
From the center of Great Peace Palace, a bright Mo matrix lit up under Shi Yu Yi's feet. Shi Yu Yi's wrinkled face carried deep sorrow. Starting slowly grayish white spread from the roots of his hair and eyebrows turned a dull grayish white. He did not speak. The Mo matrix that lit up under his feet was like a creeper vine that had woken from a hundred year deep sleep and started to spread into the surroundings. Soon, all of the Great Peace Palace was as brightly lit by this Mo matrix, as though it was day. The light of the Mo matrix did not stop, it spread along the damaged walls, and continued to spread outwards. The Mo matrixes on the streets lit up, the Mo matrixes at the corners of walls lit up, the Mo matrixes of the buildings lit up. In a blink, all of Great Peace City was covered in the bright Mo matrixes. People suddenly found to their amazement that every corner of Great Peace City was engraved with Mo matrixes. Zuo Mo also jumped in surprise, he looked at the Mo matrixes that almost covered all of Great Peace City and gaped. He could not imagine how they had carved so many Mo matrixes when they had constructed the city. Such a vast undertaking. The Ming bandits in the air were also surprised and scared by this scene, they retreated. Teacher. Shi Yu Yi cried, the tears falling on the Mo matrixes below him. The Mo matrixes seemed to hear his sorrow. The light shook and then spread. He looked at the ruins of Great Peace City, looked at the Ming bandits at its borders. In a flash, the glorious Great Peace City had reached its end. His wrinkles became visibly deeper and he was rapidly aging at a visible rate. Teacher, this student is useless. The teary eyes suddenly became determined. He raised his arms as though he was about to embrace the sky. Boom. The Mo Matrix light that covered Great Peace City suddenly brightened. The blinding light shot into the sky. This Great Peace City that Shi Zi Ming had constructed himself opened its eyes like a monster that woke from its slumber. The Black Sea surrounding Great Peace City started to rise at an astounding rate. It furiously rippled like there was something shaking deep down. The black curtain of water quickly rose from the Black Sea to form an enormous black water shield in the air which covered all of Great Peace City. The Ming bandits were shocked by this suddenly retreated. Everyone was experienced and sensitive to danger. This water curtain looked thin but they could smell the scent of danger. The people inside Great Peace City sighed in relief. Many people even cheer. At least they were safe for now. City Master. City Master. The alarmed shout startled everyone. When they looked towards City Master, all of them were stunned. Shi Yu Yi stood motionless. His entire body was a pale gray white, he seemed to be made out of rock and was entirely lifeless. He had turned into a statue. Princess Sha and the others were frightened by this scene. They covered their mouths with tears in their eyes. Many of the Great Peace City Mo started to sob. Shi Yu Yi had been intelligent and gentle, authoritative and was deeply loved by the people of Great Peace City. Zuo Mo looked deeply at Shi Yu Yi and sighed inside. He had gotten a good feeling from Shi Yu Yi. But he was not sad. The two had not had a deep relationship and this was not the time to grieve. He flowed the Mo matrix and looked around, he immediately had a grasp on the situation. Of the people present, he was not the most powerful but he definitely understood the most about Mo matrixes. Shi Zi Ming was as powerful as expected, Zuo Mo was full of admiration, when he returned, he called everyone over. The water curtain will stand for three days, Zuo Mo lowered his voice and everyone's hearts shook. But the people seated here were not normal people. Even though they were afraid, they still maintained calmness on their faces. For them, this was good. Three days was a precious time to breathe and rest it was enough for them to recover the strength to fight. Even though in the eyes of some people, their combined fighting strength was still nothing in front of the Ming bandits. Everyone, take the time to recover. Zuo Mo turned to Miao Jun, Miao Jun, spend some time to organize these guards and train them. Miao Jun wanted to speak. Tempering before the fight, even if it isn't sharp, it looks good. Zuo Mo glanced at Miao Jun and then said, if someone disobeys, execute them. I understand. Miao Jun nodded and turned to leave. Zuo Mo called over the Land Brothers, Lan Tian Long looked at Zuo Mo and said, Brother Xiao, if there is something you need us brothers to do, tell us. Even if I have to put my life on the line, it is all right. Lan Rong also nodded. Brother Xiao, speak. Zuo Mo said in a low voice, three days, we can't just sit around and wait. There are so many people in Great Peace City and they can fight. Even though there is no time to train a battle formation, having more people is useful. The Lan brothers were thoughtful. We need to recruit more people before everyone else can react. The more people, the better, Zuo Mo said. The Land Brothers were smart people and immediately understood when they heard this. When the other factions started to react, it would not be so easy to recruit people. The two exchanged a look and nodded in unison, all right. Finishing, the two did not waste words and silently left. The three princesses looked at Zuo Mo and felt admiration. When everyone else was dazed and clueless, Xiao Mo Zhe had sent out a string of orders. His way of thinking was clear, his attitude decisive and without hesitation. The people around were infected by Zuo Mo's composure and they recovered from their panic. Without detecting it, they seemed to have gained some confidence. Even Zhu Ke and the others looked at Zuo Mo under a new light. They had originally thought that Zuo Mo was only talented in cultivation and hadn't expected that he was also outstanding as a battle general. Zuo Mo did not know what these people were thinking, he was in a mess on the inside. Three days. Three days, what could he do? Zuo Mo thought hard. The possibility of breaking through just with the manpower he had now was not high. He had to think of a solution, 
Your Highness. Fu Fang's expression was worried. And Bie Han turned his head slightly. No matter what, you have to break through, Fu Feng suddenly said. Bi Han was silent until he suddenly asked, Are the Ming bandits very strong? Fu Feng stilled and reflexively answered, Very strong, they are the strongest bandits. Oh. Bi Han nodded and became silent again. Your Highness. Fu Feng was urgent. You have to promise this subordinate, no matter what, you have. Bi Han raised his hand as he turned around, he interrupted Fu Feng's words. I will show them why they are only bandits. Chapter 629, Fight. Zuo Mo stared dazedly at the crowd in front of him. Looking out, almost half of all the Mo in Great Peace City were gathered in front of him. 100,000? 200,000? When the numbers reached a certain level, the atmosphere it produced was shocking. Zuo Mo was shocked by this ocean of people in front of him. How come there are so many people? Zuo Mo pulled Lan Tian Long over and asked in a low voice. Lan Tian Long's expression was slightly smug. Ha, we were stupid, not many paid attention to us when we first tried to recruit people. Then someone asked if we were in the same group as you, and then I realized why we are failing. So I used your reputation and it became like this. My reputation. Zuo Mo gaped and was speechless. Brother, everyone saw how you stopped Lin Qian's sword strike. Now that the city master is gone, the one with the most reputation is you. Ha, well, everyone believes in you. Lan Tian Long patted Zuo Mo's shoulder and said seriously, Brother, everyone's lives are now in your hands. No matter what, try to save as many of them as possible. Having reported in, he jumped away. Looking blankly at the sea of eyes filled with anticipation, Zuo Mo felt his throat getting dry and was at loss at what to do. He had told Lan Tian Long to call some people over as a way to increase his presence. At an important time, they could also act as cannon fodder. He had not thought of saving other people. But now, when he saw the dense sea of people and the faces that were looking at him, for some reason, his heart felt suffocated. Why was it like this? Zuo Mo lost his concentration. He was not a saint and he did not uphold the precept of justice nor did he believe he was a hero. He even felt that he was a scoundrel. He was selfish, greedy, cold-hearted. He could do anything for victory, sacrifice people unconnected to him to save his people. He didn't feel any pressure or guilt when he did that. When the world was like this, who could be responsible for others? But looking out at the, the sea of quiet people, with hopeful eyes and faces covered in dust, he could not bring himself to say those words. Completely silent. The crowd was so large that they had to stand on the ruins and at the corners. Some people were alone, some were hugging each other. They were looking up. Tens of thousands of people were looking at Zuo Mo. They were waiting waiting for a miracle to occur. In their minds, Xiao Mo Zhe was another term for miracle. On him, the light of miracles repeatedly flashed. People hoped that a miracle would occur, just like in the past. They were waiting, waiting for Xiao Mo Zhe to say something. Princess Xia and the others looked at the densely packed crowd, and then at the tiny figure in the sky above the crowd. Their expressions were filled with shock. They were astounded by the scene in front of them. They had also underestimated Zuo Mo's influence. The times create heroes. Zhu Ke couldn't help but murmur. No one could take their gaze away from that youth carrying the anti-dragon claw on his back. A strange look flashed through Princess Xia's eyes. She seemed to murmur to herself, you can always bring hope and bravery to others. Xiao Mo Ji's figure in the sky suddenly moved. Everyone unconsciously stopped breathing. They had a feeling that a scene that they would never forget was about to begin. Zuo Mo moved, and the anti-dragon claw on his back also moved. He faced the gazes of the people and slowly spoke. His voice was hoarse and deep as it passed through the air. You have surprised me, I am shocked and speechless. I do not know why you have chosen me, I do not understand. He shook his head as though he was narrating or speaking to himself. You leave me not knowing what to do. Truthfully, it is very rare for that to occur to me. You do not know me, we are not personally connected nor have we interacted before. I'm very shocked that you have chosen to put your trust in me, but I have to tell you I don't have a good solution. Many people showed disappointment but they were still silent. Outside the curtain are the Ming bandits. You know better than I do how cruel and vicious they are. If I had a battalion of the same scale on my hands, maybe I would have some confidence, but I do not. I am just like all of you, afraid, terrified, and hopeless. I know that the possibility of breaking through is not high. They have never taken hostages. I will die, just like all of you. Some people started to tremble, some had hopeless expression and some started to cry and sob. The pairs of eyes that had been bright with hope gradually dimmed. Yes, they are the Ming bandits. In front of them, we are weak like newborn lambs. In their eyes, we are newborn lambs. They are waiting for the curtain of water to disappear and then have a full meal. We will definitely die. Zuo Mo's last sentence was like the call of death. Many people were unable to bear it any longer. They fell to the ground and sobbed. We are definitely going to die. Zuo Mo seemed to repeat this like he was speaking to himself but his words caused many people to raise up their heads and look at the youth in the air. But I do not plan to stop resisting. I do not plan on delivering myself under the butcher's knife like a weak lamb, and let them swallow me down. Yes, they are strong. Yes, they are savage. Yes, we don't have any chance at all. Yes, we will die. But so what? With the last words, Zuo Mo's tone suddenly became excited. He glared, his expression twisted, the tendons in his neck bulging. 
he was like a wolf forced to the corner. But so what, he suddenly increased his volume, his angry shout echoed in Great Peace City like thunder. Everyone was shocked by his words. They stopped crying, they raised their heads again and they held their breaths. Zuo Mo's gaze swept across the crowd, his face was twisted and his voice seemed to come from his chest, deep and with all the power he could muster, trembling. Yes, but so what? Yes, we don't have a solution but so what? We are too weak, but so what? I don't want to sit here and wait. I don't want to wait to be captured. Other than fighting, do we have any other choice? Zuo Mo looked at them and then shouted harshly, do we have any other choice? The Mo below stopped crying. They wiped away the tears, those on the ground stood up and gripped their Mo weapons. They raised their faces. The terror and hopelessness on their faces slowly faded. The light of determination crept onto their faces. Yes, did they have any other choice? When people find that they don't have any other choices but to stand and fight, their terror would fade. We don't have any other choice. Nothing. I don't know why you have chosen me. I don't know why you believe in me. I don't have a good solution. I don't have a miracle. I can only lead you to do one thing. The light in people's eyes grew brighter like there was a flame flashing deep inside. Zuo Mo's eyes were burning, his features twisted as he forced the words out between his teeth slowly, to fight. Fight. Continue to fight. A fight that will end in death. A fight that will not end until death. We will fight to declare to those bastards. So what if they are the Ming bandits? So what if they are stronger than us? He looked crazy, his tone was crazy, he was like a burning ball of flame that illuminated the surroundings. Fire burned in the eyes of everyone in the crowd. The fire burned fanatically. They felt that their blood was boiling. Among the hopelessness, an excitement they never had before exploded from deep within their hearts. We can still fight. We can still fight. We can still mother asterisk 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 ing fight. Zuo Mo suddenly grabbed the anti-dragon claw and raised it high up. He shouted angrily, fight. Fight. What answered him was an exploding volcano, a tsunami of angry shouts, fists raised in the air like a forest of fists. Kill him. Zuo Mo shouted angrily. Kill him. Countless voices shouted at the top of their lungs. The ground was tremblings, angry waves formed on the ocean, the most minute power was burning. Quick quick quick, faster. One thousand people to a unit, faster. Remember who your unit commander is, what you need to do is follow him, you will attack in whatever direction that he attacks. During the fight, no matter the reason, do not retreat. Even if you are wounded, even if you are about to die, if you retreat, your unit commander will execute you immediately. All of Great Peace City became busy than ever before. Everyone was furiously learning trying their best to learn how to listen to the orders of their commander and go through the most basic training. The power that the hundred members of guard camp could produce in this fight was too small. Zuo Mo decided to use them as the skeleton of their group and made them troop commanders. One thousand people per troop, this was the largest unit ever. But even so, there were not enough unit commanders. Zuo Mo had to pick some experienced Mo to act as commanders. Regardless of how chaotic or busy it was, his expression was calm from beginning to end. If he had the time to spare, he would patrol with the anti-dragon claw on his back to raise morale. Even though everything was still a mess, the morale was high. After realizing their hopes of survival were non-existent, people were not left in terror anymore. The residents of Great Peace City had mostly come here for the most skill spells. They each had some power and backbone. When they realized that they would undoubtedly die, their spirits were aroused. Since they were going to die, they would pull some down along with them. Fire burned in their chests. All of Great Peace City was like a burning furnace that accumulated power under the black curtain of water. The Ming bandits were waiting, but they were also waiting. Chapter 630, The Eve the Third Night Came. Great Peace City was silent. People were resting and waiting for tomorrow's battle. Today was the last day the water curtain would remain. During these three days, the Ming bandits had tried to attack twice but did not break through the curtain of water. In the darkness, the light of the Mo matrixes rippled. Zuo Mo was not as cheerful as he usually was. His expression was stern and his gaze that flashed occasionally was so sharp, it seemed to penetrate people's hearts. What are you thinking about? Princess Sha's voice came from behind him. She walked next to Zuo Mo and sat down. Don't know. Zuo Mo shook his head. You have times that you don't know? Princess Sha was slightly surprised. She smiled and said, I had thought that you always have a solution, always have confidence. Looking at the silent Zuo Mo in a face that seemed thinner due to the labors of these past days, Princess Sha asked probingly, Do you have any confidence in the battle tomorrow? No. Zuo Mo shook his head. I asked many people in order to learn how powerful the Ming bandits really were. Their battalion can rank in the top 30 of 100 Savage Realm. All of them are lawless killers. Their combat style is vicious and powerful, and they are bloodthirsty. Most importantly, they have many people. Many people? Princess Sha went along and asked. N. Zuo Mo's gaze flashed as he said lightly, they have 20,000 people, and of that, about 15% are brigadier level and above. More importantly, they have 20 generals. In these two days, he had spent great effort to get specific intelligence on the Ming bandits. Princess Sha inhaled sharply and her face was slightly pale. She was not a flower vase that was clueless about the world, this number shocked her. More than 15% were brigadier level or above, that meant there were 3,000 brigadier levels. Adding on the 20 general levels, this battalion was terrifying. 
The Great Peace City had many experts and if it was a one-on-one -on -one battle, 20 general levels was nothing. But if it was in a battalion with 20 general levels leading 3,000 brigadier levels, then the Great Peace City experts who were like a disorderly rabble didn't have any chance at victory. After every raid, if a hostage can defeat a member of them, they can join and survive. The members that are defeated would be eliminated, and the only path left to them is to die. Zuomo's gaze turned into the darkness as he said calmly, they used this method to become stronger. Ming Wei is talented, and what he is most talented at is a kind of Jinji. With this Jinji, he created and controls this beastly herd of bandits. The more she heard, the paler princess Sha got. She had heard of the reputation of the Ming bandits before, but never thought they would be so powerful. She forced herself to calm down, is there no way at all? Zuomo's expression was normal as he said, it is not that we do not have any advantages. We have more experts than they do. They have more general levels but in terms of combat power, they cannot compare to us. If the experts on our side can work together, there may be a chance for a breakthrough. Princess Shaw did not speak. She understood that the situation was worse than she had imagined. But while everyone is strong individually, they all have complex histories and relationships, it is hard for them to trust each other. They are wary and if they encounter danger, who will trust their backs to these other people? They will definitely split apart. Unless it is a marshal, individual power is not useful on a battlefield like this. Zuomo's voice was slightly low. There are so many people, really beyond my expectations. That shows that people trust you deeply, Princess Shaw comforted. Zuomo grimaced. Even though I was nervous before, I thought I had some chance of breaking through. But now, there is no way, I can only fight head on. We have more people, Princess Shaw said with a forced smile. This really is a bunch of rabble. If there was more time, I wouldn't fear these Ming bandits, it is a pity there is only three days. Zuomo grimaced. We can only prepare as best as possible and wait for our fates. Princess Shaw sighed lightly. I saw that you were composed these last few days and thought you were confident, so you don't have any confidence either. Do you think that what I said that day was to motivate them? Zuomo shook his head. I only said what I thought. It's not that I haven't encountered dangerous and near hopeless situations but it is the first time I have encountered such a dangerous situation. There is almost no hope of victory to be seen. Princess Shaw was silent and the shock on her face disappeared. She suddenly smiled. Your words are frightening but why do I not feel afraid? Thinking about it, it is because you are not someone that will sit and wait to be captured. Of course. Zuomo snickered and murderousness appeared on his face. I have never had the habit of quietly taking abuse. Princess Sha covered her smile as she heard this and then sank into silence. Zuomo was also silent as though he was thinking of something. This time, we have aimed too high. Ming Yue's brow was creased. A hint of worry flashed through her eyes. The Ming bandits had progressed smoothly these past years, but without a doubt, after this fight, they would be known everywhere. Ming Wei looked at the black water curtain and his usual bright smile disappeared. His presence was calm and grave and he seemed a completely different person than when he had been speaking to Bi Yu Hang. He smiled slightly and said confidently, this opportunity is perfect in timing and situation, we have no reason to fail. Even if it is for just the anti-dragon claw, we have to do this. If our strength is damaged, there are chances to replenish it, but if we miss this chance, it will be hard to come by one again. He floated in the air against the wind. His expression was confident as he said proudly, with the anti-dragon claw, my chances of breaking into martial level would increase greatly. We have lots of manpower and experts. If I can break into martial level, we have a chance at the world. Ming Yu Wei felt that her brother's ambitions were too grand. At this time, she did not want to pour cold water on his hopes but she still gritted out, but after this battle, we will have offended too many factions. Ming Wei laughed. It looks so from the surface but for them, these losses are not fatal. Adding on how sensitive the world's situation is, they do not have the attention to spare on us. Who would dare to offend us? Also, with the anti-dragon claw, even those factions that have marshals will not dare to underestimate us. The anti-dragon claw is just a mo weapon. Ming Yu Wei's brow furrowed. It isn't just a mo weapon. Ming Wei shook his head and his expression was full of yearning. If I had the anti-dragon claw, even facing a marshal, I would have a chance. But a weapon as vicious as the anti-dragon claw can only be subdued by a marshal, Ming Yu Wei asked. Yes, a general touching the anti-dragon claw would be to seek death. However, I have a solution. Ming Wei smiled mysteriously. If I did not have confidence, would I have made such bold moves? This opportunity fell to us because other people are still wary of the reputation of Great Peace City. No one dared to act so it has benefited us. He then said, Bi Yu Hang is special. He pushed from the shadows and he expected that I will be unable to refuse the anti-dragon claw and the Mo skill steel. It is a pity that he has no hopes of breaking into martial level. Otherwise, the green Yaksha clan would probably be completely different. Ming Yu Wei thought of Bi Yu Hang's conduct and speech. A hint of admiration flashed through her eyes. Yes, Bi Yu Hang is probably one of the most outstanding individuals that I have met in these recent years. However, from his tone, it seems that he is very wary of Shao Moje. We should be careful. In front of a battalion, a group of so-called experts can't do anything, Ming Wei said unconcernedly. Ming Yu Wei was just mentioning it and did not keep Xiao Mo Zhe on her mind. She had followed her brother for so many years and saw countless geniuses fall under the Mo weapons of their battalion. This was an era of battalions, maybe she was worrying too much. 
Looking at her confident brother, she felt that she really was too anxious. This bandit troop that brother had worked so hard to develop had never been defeated before. Great Peace City had many experts but no battalion. The Ming bandits were well experienced in facing the so-called experts. This time, there were a lot more of the experts but other than the scale, there was nothing different. What she was worried about was that there would be many more fatalities than previously. Not everyone in Great Peace City had ran over to Zuo Mo's side. There was another group gathered in a corner. They were the Young Master Flower Protecting Alliance. They had gathered with their guards. The curtain of water is going to disappear tomorrow. The one who spoke was a young man. His face was ashen. The other people paled. Impossible. Really? Where did you hear it from? The people spoke over each other. From the other side. Wang Shen continued. His expression was grave. It will be difficult tomorrow. He suddenly asked, where have all your reinforcements traveled to? They should be here soon. Still too early. They will arrive in a week or so. At this time, one young master suddenly raised his arm and said, my uncle sent a message to me three days ago. He said that he might arrive the day after tomorrow. Wang Shen became alert. How many people does he have? He has a battalion but I don't know the numbers. This young master said docilely. His surname was Wu and his family background was deep. Wang Shen couldn't help but show joy. Great. The Wu family battalion is elite and strong. We will be saved. Then some of the other young masters reported that the reinforcements their families sent were not far from Great Peace City and that they had mostly sent battalions. The Great Peace Treasure Pavilion was a fatal temptation for these families. Their determination could be seen from the fact they had sent battalions. But what to do tomorrow? One person suddenly asked. Everyone became silent and turned to look at Wang Shen. Wang Shen smiled and said, Did you forget the other side? They have more people and are a bigger target. The Ming bandits will first pay attention to them. The harder they fight, the more time they buy us. He then said sternly, Everyone, hide well and do not venture out. If you offend the Ming bandits, we all die. Everyone agreed. Wang Shen did not forget to increase morale. After a few days, our battalions will arrive and that will be when both sides will be wounded. That is the best situation for us. The morale of the group rose and they all became excited. They discussed how to kill the Ming bandits and Xiao Mo Zhe to win the favor of the three princesses. No one noticed that two people were discussing in a dark corner. What do we do now? Nanmen Shui asked in a deep voice. The Mo skill steel was destroyed by Lin Qian but that anti-dragon claw is not ordinary. I don't believe that Marshal Yu will not be moved. The other smiled slightly. You will know when the time comes. Chapter 631. Charge when the light of the sun started to peak above the horizon, the silent Great Peace City seemed to awaken from its slumber. The silence was quickly broken by shouting. The unit commanders were shouting at the top of their lungs, and the drum of footsteps filled the Great Peace City. The expressions on people's faces were quickly changing, from solemn silence to excitement and terror. Some people were trembling but every person gritted their teeth and entered the battle formations based on the short practice they had previously. The unit commanders made their way back and forth as they tried to rouse the spirits of their soldiers. Even though they had never practiced a battle formation before, this formation that was made of tens of thousands of people caused every person that was participating to feel excitement. Even Zuo Mo had never directed so many people before. Tens of thousands of people were divided into formations that were arranged in one corner of Great Peace City. Both Zuo Mo and Miao Jun knew that while they had a lot of people, they could not withstand a charge from the enemy. All of their preparations were for these greenhorns that had never experienced such circumstances to require them to survive the first charge of the enemy. If they managed to survive the first charge and not scatter, these greenhorns might get accustomed to the atmosphere of the battlefield, and their advantage in numbers would slowly be realized. However, Zuo Mo grimaced when he looked at these people with terror on their faces, his heart filled with worry. Taking these greenhorns into a battle to the death against the wolfish Ming bandits was something that Zuo Mo considered the most unprofitable business he had conducted in his life. But, Zuo Mo did not regret it, since he was going to fight anyway, he would make it a grand one. Looking over, the little formations were so packed that Zuo Mo felt his scalp prickle. There seemed to be a bone rattling hot flow in his body. It wasn't often that anyone would get to command a battle of such scale. The water curtain was thinning at a visible rate. The noise started to die down. The moment the water curtain finally disappeared, all of Great Peace City became completely silent. The water curtain shattered with a snap and a mist formed. The murderous Ming bandits appeared in people's view. The crowd shifted, and their terrified expressions increased. When the scenery of Great Peace City appeared in front of the Ming bandits, the Ming bandits stilled. Along the edge of Great Peace City's ruins, small and big battle of interlocking battle formations spread out like a dense patchwork that covered over half of Great Peace City. Oh, they are planning to fight back. A vicious smile appeared on Ming Hui's face, but they want to fight back with such a group of rabble, it really is. He shook his head as he spoke to himself, as though he did not know what to say, it caused his commanders to laugh around him. It's good, it will provide amusement for us. Otherwise, it will be very dull, one of the commanders said loudly, I heard that there are many personages in there. He emphasized, personages, and desirous expression appeared on many people's faces. Those personages were usually high status and now they were about to cry and groan under the hooves of their steeds. An excitement they never had experienced before began to rise from within. Their expressions became uncontrollably savage. 
I heard that all three princesses are great beauties. Another commander licked his slightly dry lips and said with a snicker, How about it boss? Give them to us. Ming Hui's laughter suddenly stopped. He said in a deep voice, Yes, three princesses will be given to the three with the most merit. It will be up to you to win yourself a beauty. Ming Yu Wei frowned slightly but didn't speak. The other commanders had savage gazes, heated desire and greed exposed without disguise. Boss. I will go first. A man with a hard face jumped out. He was Bao Shang, one of the mid-ranked commanders among the Ming bandits and a very strong individually. If it wasn't that he lacked skill and command, he would definitely have become a gold battle general. However, while he had not become a gold battle general, based on his outstanding individual power, bravery, and bloodthirst, he liked to charge in the first wave. His subordinates were all battle crazy, brave and vicious. They were one of the most powerful vanguards in the Ming bandits. Ming Wei nodded. All right, charge and test them out. Also, Tai Lang, Da Hu, cover their flanks and shield Bao Shang. Bao Shang acknowledged the order with a vicious light flashing in his eyes. He was extremely excited. The other two battle generals also stood up with equal excitement on their faces. In a few moments, the three battalions had finished their preparations. There were 1,000 people in each troop. Looking down at the densely packed Mo below them, they were filled with fighting spirit. Bao Shang raised the large axe in his hand and shouted, Kill! Without another word, he led the troop and dove down. The other two troops were not willing to fall behind. They drew out two crescents as they headed to the two sides of the enormous wall of formations below them. The Ming bandits came thunderously, their ear-piercing howls like the wails of ghosts coming to take people's spirits. The air suddenly seemed to boil. Bao Shang battalion continued to accelerate like a black storm cloud forming and suddenly arriving. Zoom zoom zoom. The high howl gradually became deeper. A shock that was hard to describe flashed across people's minds. Terror uncontrollably spread. The formations on the ground shifted. Most of them had never seen such a terrifying charge before. Do not panic. Do not panic. Whoever flees will be killed. The unit commands yelled and tried to control the situation. But there were still people that lost control of their emotions, turned and tried to flee. Pew pew pew. A drop of water pierced through their chests. Chi Diao Yu who was nearby had a frosty expression and he did not even turn to look. Anyone that turned to flee did not survive. The other people immediately ended their own thoughts of escape. At this moment, the shouts of the unit commanders rose in waves, prepare, prepare. They seemed to wake up. Looking around as dots of light slowly lit up in the surroundings, they unconsciously followed, the light of the battalion continued to spread. Bao Shang enjoyed the feeling of a charge. He was immersed in an extreme excitement, his eyes were completely red as his mo skill continued to gather. He could see the restlessness below, especially the idiots that turned to run. He couldn't help but show disdain. They were really rabble. When he neared, he saw the terror on the people's faces, their trembling legs. This caused him to feel great pleasure which flowed through his entire body like lightning. Truly a herd of white and tender lambs, he suddenly raised the large axe in his hand. The black axe flickered with a cold light. The roiling black mist shrouded his body, and killing intent was like the light that rose in the dark night. Almost at the same time, the combat mo behind him raised the mo weapons in their hands. Balls of white light rose from the battle formations. They were like fish that smelt blood that gathered towards the black axe shrouded in black mist. The large black axe seemed to have a long five-colored tail as it drew out a dazzling streak in the air. The distance between the two sides was decreasing quickly. Seeing the time had arrived, the axe in Bao Shang's hand suddenly chopped down as he shouted, Kill! Kill! The people behind him howled angrily and struck down with the mo weapons in their hands. The light suddenly increased. Countless rays of light formed an enormous five-colored axe energy that was hundreds of Zhang long. It came from the sky at the battalion below. The moment the axe energy formed, hair-raising killing intent suddenly swept towards the ground like a twister. Seeing the blood drain out of the faces of the people below, Bao Shang felt unspeakably good. Just as he was imagining all the people below being destroyed in this blow, the rising shouts interrupted his fantasies. Kill. Release. Bao Shang's snarl froze upon his face. His field of view was immediately taken over by a tide of energy. There wasn't any room to dodge. A strong feeling of danger made him feel he had dropped into an icy crevasse. His burning blood instantly became icy cold. Everything in front of him was white, and he could not see anything else. His mind was astounded, how was this possible? Dodge. Before he could shout anymore, he was swallowed by this furious wave of light. He did not have the time to wail before he lost consciousness. When a battalion of 32,000 people attacked together, when over 30,000 attacks merged together, the light that was created was as bright as the sun and had caused the entire sky to turn white. Bao Shang battalion were like the dry branches struggling in the flood and was immediately swallowed. The enormous axe that Bao Shang battalion had formed with all their power cut through the angry wave and crashed into the battalions on the ground. Boom. An enormous explosion, rock flew everywhere, and an astounding shockwave of air rushed into the surroundings. A pit that formed was astounding to see among the battle formation, it was like one piece had been erased. Bao Shang's blow had struck five battle formations and a battle formation of 2,000 people had been completely erased. They had lost over 3,000 people, 
and almost at the same moment, the two battalions on the sides acted and the same attacks appeared. Two enormous explosions. Two enormous holes appeared on the ground but the two other Ming bandit battalions were not as strong as Bao Shang. The damage they caused was much smaller but even so, the wounds and deaths at both locations had reached more than 4,000. Wails and cries rang out. Those Mo had never seen such a scene before, many panicked, especially the battle formations that were closest to the attacks. Screams seemed to spread among the crowd like a plague. No matter how the unit commander shouted, it was useless and the troops looked like they were about to break apart. Zuo Mo was expressionless. A hit of sharpness flashed through his eyes as he waved his hand at the side. He had predicted this situation before. Those that lower army morale, kill. Those that lower army morale, kill. The loud shouts rang out over Great Peace City in unison. In this moment, countless pillars of blood shot up in the battle formations. Hundreds of Mo that had lost courage and fled were killed where they stood. Such powerful and bloody tactics immediately stunned every person. All of Great Peace City was silent, so silent the drop of a pin could be heard. Many people had ashen faces but no one dared to move, they were quiet and silent. Princess Shaw and the others had their faces turn white, and their extremities felt cold. None of them had expected Xiao Mo Zhe who was usually cheerful and smiling to have such a vicious decisiveness. Chapter 632 Weakness Zuo Mo slowly floated off the ground. His expression was cold, his eyes as sharp as a sword, and he gave off a pressuring aura. The ashen-faced people unconsciously raised their heads. The blank and terrified gazes gathered on Zuo Mo's body. Those that retreat, kill. Those that do not follow orders, kill. Those that lower morale, kill. The three, kill, were a gust of cold wind that blew across Great Peace City. The slightly thin figure in the air was reflected in the terrified eyes of the people. Hold on to your Mo weapons. The following clash will be even more cruel, even more intense, and even more people will die. Zuo Mo's tone was cool. He did not comfort the crowd, and treated them like his subordinates, having to remind them that the battle was about to begin as though this was a usual affair. The battle was just beginning and what would occur later was even more intense. But for some reason, his words carried an unusual power and caused the terror on the faces of the people to decrease. In their eyes, Xiao Mo Zhe appeared calm and composed, unpanicked. The people here who had lost courage immediately found something to hold onto and gradually calm. Just now, we killed 3,000 Ming bandits. The crowd shifted. The great majority of people were still anxious but some of the more daring people became excited. 3,000. The Ming bandits only had 20,000 people in total. For them, 3,000 could be considered to be a heavy blow. They will be afraid, terrified, and angry. The following attacks will be even stronger. Zuo Mo's voice was flat and cool. More and more people started to understand. Their gazes slowly became bright and the terror was replaced by excitement. They suddenly found that the Ming bandits were still made from flesh, they were mortal, they could die. They suddenly felt that victory was not so impossible. If a few more clashes like this occurred, wouldn't the Ming bandits be defeated? The people who had found hope again had slightly excited expressions. Hold on, and we will win. Zuo Mo's voice was not arousing, nor sorrowful. His calm yet confident voice echoed above Great Peace City. The crowd quieted again as they unconsciously gripped the Mo weapons in their hands. Everyone's eyes had brightened and they were filled with hope. Ming Hui's gaze was dark. He had heard all of Zuo Mo's speech and did not attack again. The other Ming bandits also showed slight fear. In one exchange, all 3,000 bandits had died and not one had managed to escape. They had never encountered something like this before. Just now, that tsunami-like attack had caused even the sun to appear dim in comparison. The lambs had suddenly showed their fangs and surprised them. This person must be Xiao Moje. As expected, he is brave and cunning. Ming Wei looked at the anti-dragon claw on Zuo Mo's back, and his pupils contracted. Ming Yu Wei's face was also astounded but her attention was not on the anti-dragon claw but Zuo Mo's words. She had heard Zuo Mo's cool, murderous and calming words, she had seen the terrified people gradually settle down, and their determination to resist grow even stronger. The collapse of morale they had predicted did not occur. Such a charismatic person. Their battle formation setup is very unique. Suddenly, Ming Yu Wei spoke up with a serious expression. She was the most outstanding battle general of the Ming bandits. Her judgment always received attention from Ming Wei. Everyone finally noticed the patchwork of battle formations. They were all experienced. Before, they had not paid attention. Now that Ming Yu Wei pointed it out and they looked closely, they immediately noticed what was there. Xiao Mo Zhe is cunning. Among the exclamations came sharp inhales. The Ming bandits were in the sky and could see the setup below clearly. They finally noticed that Xiao Mo Zhe had spent great effort on the arrangement of the battle formations. The dense patchwork of battle formations was like a hedgehog. No matter which direction they approached from, they would face attacks from at least 20 battle formations. Even if the other did not have a battalion, did not have a battle general to direct all the power, but a simultaneous attack from over 20,000 people was enough to cause a headache for any battle general. A battle through numbers. This phrase flashed across everyone's minds. The commanders looked at each other and did not know what to do. This wasn't the first time they had encountered a situation like this, but their past experiences told them that any group of civilians, no matter how large, were a herd of lambs when they faced a battalion. 
If they took a few losses and charged at the enemy, the rabble would scatter and then the enemy would be easy prey. But what was in front of them was not the same as any of their experiences. They had lost 3,000 people but the enemy had lost 7 to 8,000. Rationally, the enemy ranks should have started to flee and collapse now. But they did not flee. Xiao Mo Ji's vicious and decisive act hadn't just stunned all of Great Peace City, but also astounded the Ming bandits. What surprised them even more was that Xiao Mo Zhe had soothed the anxiety and fear of Great Peace City with just a few words. When had these normal people gained such strong and resilient minds? Even the Ming bandits that had killed their way from mountains of corpses could not understand what was occurring in front of them. Then Ming Yu Wei pointed out what was special about the other setup. This caused them to all become more wary of Xiao Mo Zhe. Is there a solution? Ming Wei spoke. He knew that his younger sister was very smart and always relied on her for battle tactics. Ming Yu Wei's gaze stared at the enormous battle formation battle under them without a word. They all knew that she was pondering how to break the formation. They didn't dare to breathe in fear of disturbing her. A moment later, her eyes suddenly lit up and she said, This battle formation belt is unique, but it is not invincible. Everyone became alert and perked up to listen. They have many people, but they are not a true battalion. They do have some cooperation, but when pressured they cannot fight for long. We only need to use the smaller battalions to harass their formation at range and force them to expend their strength. Over time, they wouldn't be able to maintain this. At that moment, we will charge straight at the center. If we can take down Xiao Mo Zhe, their ranks will definitely collapse and flee. That is right. Yes, yes. We will dart in and out of range, they won't know whether to fight or not, they will be frustrated. Good method. The commanders gave their praise. Ming Wei also showed joy. Ming Yu Wei's plan was directed straight at the other's weakness. While fighting with numbers was effective, but the weakness of the enemy being untrained civilians was something that could not change. All right, let's do this, Ming Wei ordered. The commanders were aching to start. Looking on as the enemy harassed their formation from the edge of their range, and how their attacks kept missing the enemy, many people had ugly expressions. The Ming bandits definitely are not ordinary people. Princess Xin's expression was terrible. Princess Sha also showed a threat of worry. They are forcing us to waste our power. Almost everyone could see what the Ming bandits intended, but there was no use in that. No one had a good solution. The Ming bandits saw their weakness and did not disguise their intentions. Everyone unconsciously looked at Xiao Mo Zhe nearby. When they saw Xiao Mo Zhe had a calm face, their mood immediately calmed down as well. He would definitely have a way. Almost at the same time, many people had the same thought. We cannot continue like this. Standing next to Zuo Mo, Zhu Kei couldn't help but speak. Worry floated onto their faces. If this continued, the outer battle formations would not be able to continue and collapse. Once the collapse began, all of the army would collapse. If this was a well-trained battalion, the troops could be rotated out, but right now, they only had these greenhorns that had been trained for two days. If they tried to rotate out at troops this time, it would lead to chaos. But if they did not switch at this time, collapse was just a matter of time. Zuo Mo nodded. He didn't speak and indicated to Miao Jun. Soon, the outermost battle formations slowly moved back, and the battle formations on the inside slowly advanced. Changing formations for the well-trained battalions was not an easy matter, but for people with two days of training, it was impossible. Chaos spread. The Ming bandits perceptively noticed their chance. They doved down howling. The killing intent flooded the air as they charged. The battle formations on the outside became even more panicked. The panic spread. The already unstable battle formations became even more chaotic. At this time, a Ming bandit commander's eyes suddenly lit up. His heart beat rapidly. He noticed that at some time, a faintly discernible path of attack appeared in front of him. The path led straight to Xiao Mo Zhe. He then looked at the crowd around Xiao Mo Zhe. The princesses and other high-status people were among them. He was so excited he almost stopped breathing. The heavens had blessed them with a good opportunity. If he could capture this group, the battle would be finished. What was in front of him was the fattest piece of meat. If he could swallow it, it would be the biggest accomplishment in this battle. His gaze burned. Without another word, he ordered, charge there. His battalion was well trained and did not hesitate to charge towards where their battle general had pointed. As the Ming bandits charged into their battle formations, it caused the people of Great Peace City to be wary of the coming attack. But the people closest to the battalion were not a match for these wolfish Ming bandits. Blood and flesh flew and wails rang out endlessly. This Ming bandit battalion was like a sharp and red hot knife cutting through butter. It immediately penetrated the ranks and went straight at Xiao Mo Zhe. In the air, Ming Hui's eyes suddenly lit up. His cheeks flushed and he pointed at the crack that was growing. He shouted, everyone, attack. The Ming bandits who were barely able to hold themselves back immediately complied. Killing intent filled the sky. Chapter 633, Center Formation. Protect Darren. Xu Long's angry shout exploded like lightning among the panic screaming. The other people around Zuo Mo seemed to wake up. They found to their shock that danger had snuck so close to them, and without realizing it, the Ming bandits had charged and had arrived in front of them. The Ming bandits had gotten so close vicious and savage expressions of the Ming bandits could be clearly seen. They could even see the pulsing muscles on these faces and the trembling whiskers. And that animalistic and bloodthirsty murderousness. 
Zhu Ke's head rang and his expression changed. He suddenly reacted and shouted at the top of his lungs, protect the princess. The personal guards of each faction sprinted from where they had been. Leaving the formation belt a mess, in disarray with people falling back on every side. People turned and ran like crazy. These people had been held together by Zhu Omo. Now that the enemy was heading straight for Zhu Omo, their weak cooperation was immediately exposed. Terror and hopelessness furiously spread throughout their ranks. The enormous battle formation belt immediately collapsed. The guards of the princesses uncaringly abandoned all the other people. Their eyes were red as they sprinted to where the princess were. Guard camp and celestial plant guard were also sprinting against the fleeing flood of people to fly to where Zhu Omo was. Princess Shaw's face was covered in terror. Her complexion was white. The panicked crowds were running everywhere. The snarls of the Ming bandits entered her eyes. All she could hear was the sound of killing, shouts and screams. She was bewildered. How had it come to this? Her gaze moved around blankly. Her gaze stopped on a thin figure. Slowly, her eyes became focused and a thread of hope rose in her heart. As usual his face was still indifferent and wore a cold expression but this time, inside the indifference, she noticed something that made her mind tremble. He was not panicking. Zuo Mo stood upright with an indifferent expression as though he did not see what was happening around him. The Ming bandits rushed forward extremely quickly. The first battalion that fell had shown the skill of the Ming bandits. In only a blink, they breached the outer formations and reached the center formation. Almost all the general levels and important personages were gathered in the center formation. This Ming bandit troop seemed to poke the hornet's nest. The battle immediately reached a high. Mo that could cultivate to colonel and general level were experienced in battle. When they realized that it was their lives were on the line, the power they could produce was astounding. They were not as well trained as the Ming bandits, nor could they work together like them, but the chaotic situation and the extremely short distance between them made it perfect for them to fight. Zhu Ke, Sha, and the middle-aged attendant who were all near martial level were unstoppable in this moment. Zhu Ke moved like a ghost. Once he entered the Ming bandit ranks, everywhere he passed, bloody mist sprouted up behind him. Sha was persistent and his steps were as heavy as mountains. No one could stop his advance. The long spear in his hand seemed to weigh 3,000 caddies. Blood and flesh flew when it came into contact with his spear. The middle-aged attendant formed a claw with her hands and grabbed at the air. Those Ming bandits that were targeted were ripped into pieces like puppets and died before they could make a sound. The other experts were also in a killing fury. Like countless roaming fish, they passed through the formation and engaged in close combat. Almost 80% of the experts on the Great Peace Mo rankings were here. Yu Shuang had not recovered from his wounds, but Chang Yuan Hao was still healthy. Adding on Qi Diao Yu and the others, this place held the elite of Great Peace City. In almost a flash, this Ming bandit troop died. Even its battle general was killed in five moves when Zhu Kei and Sha working together. This result caused people to cheer and dance. Ming Hui's expression was normal. In his eyes, these people at the center formation were just fighting within a cage. Those experts were troublesome, but if he was willing to spend the time and effort, he had many ways to deal with them. Even the strongest expert could not beat overwhelming numbers. Battle generals focused the attacks of the entire battalion. Even though their attacks were not as varied as individual attacks, they were powerful and not something that an individual person could stop. Even experts were unable to withstand the charge of a battalion, especially experts that could not work together. A cold light flashed through Ming Hui's eyes. Old Tu, Da Hong, go scatter them. The two battle generals acknowledged the order. At this time, Great Peace City's battle formation belt had scattered as people fled. The barriers defending the center formation had decreased greatly. The two had burning gazes. The center formation that had lost its shielding was like a beauty who was undressed and perfectly displayed in front of them. Looking at the determination and spirit on the faces of their subordinates, the two didn't feel afraid at all. They did not feel sorrow about the deaths of their compatriots. It was the opposite. When the battalion had scattered the crowds previously, and expended the power of the experts, it made the situation advantageous to them. A group that could not work together was delusional to think it could withstand a battalion's charge. The two exchanged a look and found the fighting spirit in each other's eyes. You go left, I'll go right, all right, without any delay, the two left on their own. Guard camp had assembled the quickest even though they were not skilled in speed. Before the charging Ming bandit battalion had been exterminated, they had finished gathering and stood silently around Zuo Mo. They were fully alert. The battle just now had not expended their power. Guard camp with calm expression surrounded Zuo Mo, who wore an indifferent expression. People couldn't resist looking again. In the middle of the chaotic battlefield, they were so eye-catching. Haha. <laughs> the Ming bandits are only worth this much, in the middle formation, a brawny man couldn't help but say. Yes, someone really exaggerated their abilities. What was the use in making such a fuss, I thought that they really had some skill. Another man who had a hard face said disdainfully with narrowed eyes. Shu Long and the others glared angrily. Crack. The neck of the man who had just spoken suddenly bent at a strange angle. His eyes were wide, his face like a balloon. Sang Lianer serenely spoke, I do not like hearing this kind of posturing. Everyone inhaled and looked in shock at Sang Lianer. This Mo female had fought Lin Qian head on and her power was deep and hard to predict. Having finished gathering, the celestial planet guards had slightly ashen faces. 
Miss Power, skill, and thoughts were all hard to predict. Zhu Ke was slightly displeased by Sang Li and her action. He was about to speak when his sleeve was pulled. Princess Wan was pulling him as she shook her head. Zhu Ke stilled and became silent. The center formation became silent. They are about to attack. Suddenly, Xiao Mo Ji's cool voice interrupted this silence. He seemed to not have noticed the movements behind him. He nodded at Xu Long who immediately understood. Guard camp started to move. Zhuo Mo then turned and said to Miao Jun, go. Miao Jun did not speak and looked deeply at Zhuo Mo before turning. A short while later, the Celestial Planet Guards and Tang Fei Battalion finished gathering. Do you need help? Princess Sha asked worriedly. Zhuo Mo shook his head. No, be careful, the other is about to attack. His voice was not loud but everyone heard it clearly. The crowd immediately shifted. They had all seen the power of the Ming bandits charge. They might have just killed 1000 of the Ming bandits, but everyone understood if all of the Ming bandits all charged, they would be in danger. Zhu Kei and the others were the strongest among this group, but even an expert of his level could not directly face the charge of a thousand member battalion. Two battalions separated from the, the ranks of the Ming bandits. They even reorganized themselves to guarantee that their charge would be powerful. At this time, the crowds had not completely dissipated, however, there was no one in one Lee of the center formation. This distance was enough for them to prepare a charge. Kill. The two battle generals shouted angrily. The two battalions were like two floods bursting through the dam. Kill. The unified shouts of 2,000 people shook the surroundings. The sky full of killing intent rushed down at Zuomo and the others. The two battalions worked well together, one on the right and one on the left. The enemy would not know whether to protect the head or the tail. The howl that was soul shaking once again filled the air. At this moment, in the center formation where Zuomo was, a ball of gray mist suddenly rose. Almost at the same time, Xu Long and Miao Jun, who were in the gray mist, shouted at the same time, Kill. Mist hand seat. The people who were surrounded by the gray mist exclaimed. Even Zhu Ke, Yu Shuang, and the others showed astonishment. They were knowledgeable and knew that such a practice, mist hand seat, would only come from a person with a Mo physique. However, their attention quickly shifted to the incoming collision between the two forces. Zhu Ke and the others wondered. Xiao Mo Zhe seemed to have prepared for this situation beforehand. Had he planned this? But no matter what, they did not have a chance at a breakthrough. Did he have something else up his sleeve? The two Ming bandit troops clearly had absorbed the lesson of the battalion which had fallen before them. They made a loud ruckus but they held some strength back. When the gray mist appeared without warning and covered the entire center formation, the two felt slightly wary. From where Miao Jun was, an enormous blue blade energy broke through the mist and headed for the battalion opposite it. Good move. Da Hong's eyes flashed viciously, he was overjoyed as he attacked. A faintly red wheel of light flew straight at the blade energy. Boom. A great explosion occurred between the two battalions. The battle generals on both sides had no intentions of holding back, in this moment, they also attacked. No matter how strong the shockwave from the explosion was, the strange gray mist was not affected at all. Almost at the same time the explosion happened, from the gray mist, countless arm-length blue blade energies shot out like rain. They zipped through the air and covered the sky. Going against the airwave of the explosion, the blade energies were affected. Their paths became chaotic and hard to predict. Da Hong's expression suddenly changed. A phrase suddenly jumped out of his mind. Gold battle general. The other was definitely a gold battle general. Such a practiced charge was something only a gold battle general could perform. Chapter 634, Cut Off Gold Battle General. There were many that saw this attack. Those that were gathered here were the best experts of Great Peace City, who wasn't knowledgeable. But no one had thought it would be Miao Jun. In a flash, people finally recalled Xiao Mo Zhe and Miao Jun's battle. In the past, people had only known that Miao Jun had lost to Xiao Mo Zhe. Many people had seen the battle in person but no one had thought that Miao Jun was also a gold battle general. Many people showed expressions of vexation. It had to be said that in this present chaotic state of affairs, a gold battle general was much more valuable than an expert. There were also many people that had thoughtful expressions. They found to their shock that Xiao Mo Zhe had experts among his subordinates, and strong generals. Some other people were pondering had Xiao Mo Zhe realized that Miao Jun was a gold battle general back then? The intense battle quickly caused everyone to suppress their puzzlement and turn back to observe the battlefield. The ongoing battle was important to them. Yi Ling's missed hand seat covered all of the center formation. With the help of the Mo embryo, Yi Ling had managed to cultivate his Mo physique. If his gray camp was present, his offensive capabilities would be multiple of what it was before. Right now, he could only squander his talents doing what he had. But the gray mist gave the best concealment to the middle formation. Including the position where Xu Long was. Xu Long's guard camp was just 100 people, yet these 100 people were much stronger than they had been previously. Xu Long had also processed a Mo embryo. A Wen, Nan Yu, and the other core members had also exploded in power. But after Xu Long's shout of kill, they became a silent beast hidden in the mist. Several of the enemy attacks entered the gray mist and didn't even cause a stir. Under the gray mist, guard camp was like a black hole that could swallow everything. The Ming bandit commander's expressions became grave. At this time, they had the advantage of offensive capability. 
They did not fear Xiao Mo Zhe and the other fighting back but they feared that there would be ambushes and traps inside the mist. The waves of attacks were swallowed and didn't cause any response. The damned gray mist made it impossible to see what was happening inside. Old Tu hesitated slightly before he quickly made a decision. Charge. He understood Ming Wei very well. Ming Wei appeared as though he was a very relaxed commander, but at such a crucial time, if they did not do their best, Ming Wei would execute them without even a frown. But Old Tu was careful and not as rash as Bao Shang. He only had 100 Mo soldiers leave the ranks and leap into the gray mist. Old Tu's eyes were cold. Even if these 100 Mo soldiers were the elite of his subordinates, his expression didn't change at all. He stared closely at the gray mist and waited for the moment his subordinates charged into the gray mist. The other 900 people silently waited. 100 Mo soldiers howled angrily as they charged crazily at the gray mist. Their faces were twisted, madness, hopelessness, and bloodthirst mixed together in their reddened eyes. It was just 100 people charging but there was suddenly a suffocating presence. The gray mist remained strangely quiet. The strange blue blade energies shrieked as they viciously pierced Da Hong's battalion. Pew pew pew. Countless bloody flowers blossomed in the air. The sharp blade energies easily penetrated the bodies of the Ming bandits. Wails sounded, and 70 to 80 figures lost control and fell down. Da Hong's battalion was left missing a piece as though it had been bitten off. A blue energy suddenly flashed past Da Hong's face, and caused a small bloody mark. His expression was dark. The other was stronger than he had imagined. Gold Battle General. As expected of a gold battle general. The other's moves were much more skilled than his. Both sides had attacked at the same time and the other's second attack wave had come so fast that they were unable to react. His subordinates didn't have the time to dodge or fight back before they were hit. Other than some that had high-level Mo skills and managed to stop the attack, almost all the other Mo soldiers died where they were. The other's ability as a battle general far surpassed him. Watching from afar, Ming Hui's eyes moved. These people fighting back were much hardier and stronger than he had predicted. When Miao Jun acted, all the commanders in the Ming bandits changed expression. Ming Yu Wei's expression also became serious. They only had one thought, it was lucky this person did not have many people in his battalion. If this gold battle general had two to three thousand people in his battalion, then the Ming bandits would suffer great losses this time. Fortunately, everyone had clearly saw that Miao Jun only had 700 or so people. Even the cleverest wife could not make a meal without any rice. No matter how strong a gold battle general was, if he did not have a matching battalion, his threat level was much lower. Gui San, go help Da Hong. Ming Yu Wei did not hesitate and ordered. Yes. A man with stark features came out and acknowledged. Everyone finally sighed in relief. Ming Hui's expression cleared up slightly. With a nod, he said, Da Hong is good on the front lines, and there is nothing more to be said of his individual bravery. However, he is slightly lacking as a battle general. It is normal for him to lose slightly against an expert like this. The expressions of other people eased when they heard this. They had also been slightly scared by Xiao Mo Ji's endless bag of tricks, their confidence unconsciously being damaged. Only when Ming Wei said this did they manage to realize it. Yes, no matter how many tricks the other had, he didn't have an outstanding battalion. With only commanders and no soldiers, he was just struggling for nothing. Yes. No matter how many tricks they have, when our army charges, everyone will turn to ashes, a subordinate shouted. Everyone's expressions eased and they nodded in agreement. Just at this time, Wales suddenly came from the gray mist, everyone tensed. Supported with just his own power, Yi Ling's mist hand seat finally could not tolerate the charge of Old Tu's battalion and crumbled. The scene inside the mist was displayed in front of all the people. Yet everyone was stunned by this scene. Countless dismembered limbs were scattered near the center formation. Xu Long's troop had set up a very strange battle formation. At some unknown time, many strange pillars carved in script had appeared around them. Old Tu seemed crazy as he charged at the battle formation. However, this battle formation that was just made up of 100 people was like a meat grinder. No matter the number of people, they would be ground to paste as they charged in. Bloody mist exploded and then rained to the ground successively. Under the feet of Xu Long's battle formation, blood flowed like a river and the soil was dyed red. The fishy tang of blood spread. The ground covered in broken and cut limbs made this place seem like hell. Old Tu had gone crazy due to the scene, he continuously charged the other's battle formation as though he didn't want to live. Yet the other's battle formation was as steady as rock, unmovable. Ming Yu Wei's expression really changed this time as she exclaimed, Mo grinding disc. She paused and it appeared as though she didn't dare to believe her eyes for three whole breaths, but she was had extraordinary composure and quickly recovered. She shouted harshly, He Lang, reinforce old two from the side. Yes. A man with a cold expression affirmed. Ming Yu Wei suddenly gritted her teeth and raised her head. She said with determination, Big brother, we should charge. She had a bad feeling. Ming Wei stilled. The situation was not clear yet. Even he felt slightly scared at the other's endless tricks. His original intention had been for his subordinates to test the waters and after the enemy strategy was clear, then he would crush them in one go. But he was a ruthless and formidable person. He knew that if his younger sister recommended this, then it really was a pivotal moment. He knew that he was not his younger sister's equal at directing battle and he usually followed what his sister said. Hearing this, his gaze became stern and murderousness flashed, 
He nodded without hesitation and shouted, prepare to charge. Everyone's hearts shook, and they roared their acknowledgement. At this moment, Xu Long and Miao Zhan's battalion surged with power, unleashing powerful attacks. In that moment, they actually suppressed the Ming bandits that were now twice their number. All the Ming bandit generals paused with disbelief. No matter how many tricks they had, they could not do something like this. Ming Yu Wei reacted the fastest. Careful, they are about to flee. As expected, the two troops at the center formation dropped everything and charged towards a group of fleeing Great Peace City citizens. They wanted to use the chaos to escape. A cold smile floated on Ming Hui's lips, he suddenly shouted, kill. The Ming bandits responded and all of them accelerated. Like a thundering flooded, they headed to Xiao Mo Ji's group. The two sides were extremely fast. Ming Hui's fighting spirit boiled and only Xiao Mo Zhe was inside his view. His gaze was tightly focused on the dragonclaw-shaped object on Xiao Mo Ji's back, the anti-dragonclaw. Starting from today, the anti-dragonclaw was his. With this thought, his body felt heated, and his gaze also burned. Xiao Mo Zhe and the others were also fleeing very quickly and had almost reached the crowd. They wanted to flee. A dark and cold smile floated on Ming Hui's mouth. He seemed to not see the panicked crowds along the way and his gaze was closely locked onto Xiao Mo Zhe. The Ming bandits also ignored the crowds that they flew by. Xiao Mo Zhe and the others were clearly slowed down by the speed of the princesses. The distance between them quickly decreased. The Ming bandits charged at Xiao Mo Zhe and the others with a destructive presence. Every battle general gave their all at this time. Their gazes were excited as fighting spirit burned. The attacks on their hands were waiting to be let out. When the distance grew closer, their attacks would drown Xiao Mo Zhe and the others. Under such an attack, no one would manage to survive. Xiao Mo Zhe and the others had entered their range of attack but Ming Wei did not give the order to attack. He licked his lips like a cunning wolf waiting for a chance to give a fatal strike. A bit closer, just a bit more, and their attacks would manage to completely cover all of them. At this time a vast cold killing essence suddenly covered the Ming bandits, like the icy wind that rushed upwards from the ground. This wave came very suddenly without any warning. The killing essence was so cold that in one instant, the Ming bandits found that a layer of frost had appeared on their bodies. An enemy attack. Ming Hui's mind rang out. Kill. The cold voice seemed to be filled with a strange power. Everyone's hearts jumped. Before the sound dissipated, the unrestrained killing essence was like an exploding volcano that shot at them. The next scene caused their souls to almost leave their bodies. Editor note. Wandering Gummy of Doom. So many of you got that there was a trap somewhere, but you were calling it a bit early. Forcing your opponent's move is super helpful in laying a trap. Chapter 635. The Blade Unsheathed. Numerous figures suddenly leapt out from the panicked crowded under the Ming bandits. In a flash, the dark figures covered the sky. The black shadows were extremely quick. The sound they produced was like a blade slicing through air, humming deeply in waves with a mind-stunning power. Those that heard it all changed expression and their scalp prickled. Yet before they could react at all, an enormous wave of power condensed and smashed heavily into the middle of the Ming bandits' ranks. Boom. The shockwaves twisted everything in view. The middle section of the Ming bandits' ranks did not have the time to make a sound when the ripples passed through and their bodies were disintegrated from the attack. The powerful Mo physiques of the Ming bandits turned to ash like a snowman in the sun. Ming Yu Wei's expression was ashen. A battalion. They had been ambushed by a battalion. The enemy had actually had a battalion. However, the Ming bandits were highly experienced, and vicious on top of that. Even though they were surprised at the suddenly appearance of a battalion, they quickly calmed down after the initial panic. The Ming bandits that were closest to the middle sect unhesitatingly charged forward in hopes they could slow down this battalion. If this attacking battalion was dragged to a stop, then it would definitely die. From every angle, there was nothing to criticize about the Ming bandits' response. Only true elite Mo with rich combat experience could react so quickly right after being attacked. But all of the Ming bandits underestimated the strength of this unknown battalion. They also underestimated the strength of Bi Han, who led Sin Battalion. Bi Han's face was icy but his gaze was full of spirit. There was a small flush on his face. He had been waiting too long for this battle. He had waited from the moment he learned to be a battle general, from the moment he commanded the Sin Battalion, from the moment he was imprisoned on mountain, from the moment he had returned to the Mo territories. From having no place to go, to finding a place, Zhang Jie, who he had been said to rival, was dominating and was attracting the attention of the world. Zhang Jie seemed to be the premier battle general of the Four Realms. Yet his own journey was full of setbacks and detours. He met obstacles everywhere he went, and after so much hardship, he had never even had his first battle. He had waited for far too long. The large axe in his hand was hungry, and the sword was wailing sorrowfully and discontentedly from the sheath. This battle was fated to be renowned throughout the world. The light of an ultimate battle general would shine over the world. A kind of light called confidence flashed in Bi Han's cold eyes. The Xiaojie were most skilled in divination. This was a very broad concept. It included judging and predicting the actions of the enemy, searching for and exploiting weaknesses in the enemy's formation and how to express the full power of their battalion. It was a field that every Xiaojie battle general had to learn. Bi Han who had learned the battle methods of the Xiaojie from his childhood was skilled in this. 
But Bi Han's command style was completely different than Zhang Jie who was of the same sect. Zhang Jie was balanced in all aspects, meticulous and rarely showed weaknesses. When Bi Han had been at the mountain, everyone who saw him compete would say the same phrase. This blade is inauspicious. His command style was vicious and harsh. Compounded by his cold personality, he would do anything for victory, including sacrificing his own troops. He was someone that people were wary of. A mistake, such as underestimating your opponent, was an opportunity that could change the entire battle for a battle general of Bi Han's caliber. Even now, the Ming bandits did not understand the skill level of the battle general they were facing and the skill of the battalion. Just as the Ming bandits near the middle section started to ready themselves to charge, the next attacks from Sin Battalion arrived. In Bi Han's hands, Sin Battalion which had undergone an increase in power had demon-like powers. They were like ghosts but their strikes were as impactful as heavy broadswords. The several hundred members of Sin Battalion moved past each other in criss-cross patterns. An extremely strange scene occurred. The Ming bandits who were about to charge suddenly stared with wide eyes. Several lines of blood criss crossed on their bodies as though they had been sliced with sharp thin threads. Pew. Blood sprayed from the bloodlines and turned to a blood mist in the air. The bodies of these Ming bandits fell apart into seven to eight pieces. Every cut and wound was as smooth as glass. Even those as cruel as the Ming bandits were astounded when they saw such a scene and lost their concentration for a moment. Bi Han was unaffected, and only his eyes were as sharp as a blade. In front of him, all other obstacles were swept away, and the exposed backs of the Ming bandits appeared in front of him. All of this happened in just one moment. Before the dismembered limbs and the bloody mist could land, before anyone could react and move, Bi Han released his long-prepared charge. The Ming bandits at the front turned and their faces immediately filled with terror and hopelessness. Boom. Like a blade entering flesh, wherever it passed, flesh and bone separated. The Sin Battalion still cultivated Mo skills and the modified Jinji on their bodies caused their Mo skills to increase greatly. After undergoing Zuo Mo's engraving of new Mo matrices, these battle monsters with incomplete souls had become even stronger. Their speed was extremely fast making their movements hard to predict. When they attacked, their strength was domineering, and also hard to predict. What was scariest was that they did not hold one shred of fear. They would meticulously and faithfully carry out Bi Han's orders. They did not seem to feel it even when the attacks of the enemy landed on their bodies. Sometimes, they didn't even dodge. They were like a group of monsters. The experienced Ming bandits had never seen such a determined charge before. The Ming bandits at the front panicked. They tried to fly forward to avoid the charge behind them. Some of the smarter Ming bandits sprinted in other directions. The formation of the Ming bandits immediately dissolved. The Sin Battalion was unstoppable where it passed. Blood and flesh. The power of an individual was as minuscule as an ant in front of the vast power created by a charge like this. Just being brushed lightly was a heavy blow that would cause one to be thrown into the air, their bones completely shattered, and they would be dead where they landed. This all happened in a flash. The Ming bandits in the rear were still charging forward, the middle section of their formation had fled, and in a blink, the Ming bandits at the front had crumbled as the blood of their companions flowed in rivers. This change had come too quickly that many people didn't even understand what was happening. Even the Ming bandits were stuck dumb by this crazy ambush. They watched as the Sin Battalion hunted and killed the fleeing Ming bandits. Sin Battalion never attacked lone Ming bandits. They would move around each other as though they were creating a great net. No matter how Ming bandits struggled in the net, they would but cut into pieces by this sharp net. Sin Battalion coldly harvested lives. Dismembered limbs flew in the air as sprays of blood sprouted. The scene was so bloody it was intimidating. It was so cruel that even the Ming bandits could not suppress their disgust. Many people started to vomit. Ming Wei, expression was ashen. He looked in disbelief at this scene in front of him. Just a moment ago, everything had been within his grasp, and the anti-dragon claw was right by his hand. In a blink, half of his Ming bandits were gone. His gaze was blank and unfocused. The remainder of the battalion were intimidated by the cold presence and unconsciously retreated hundreds of Zhang. How could it be like this? Ming Yu Wei's expression was ashen as well. Her eyes were terrified as she said in a trembling voice, Brother, we cannot win against this person. Cannot win? Ming Hui's expression suddenly changed from blank to crazed. He shouted harshly, Cannot win. What do you mean cannot win? We are the Ming bandits. We are the invincible Ming bandits. Sister, I believe in you. Brother, it will not work. Ming Yu Wei's voice still trembled slightly but her expression had recovered greatly. She shook her head and said, I am not a match for him. Since the ambush in the beginning, he had planned this entire string of events. He was still at such ease in such a chaotic situation. He is too scary, I am not a match. Also, this battalion is stronger than ours. This person can rival those famed generals. Sister is better than those famous generals. Brother, he might be able to step into Glory Hall. HS's, the commanders in the surroundings inhaled sharply and each of them had an expression of great shock. Glory Hall. The Mo territories were not as large as the Xiaojie territories but it was still vast. The Hundred Savage and Nether had as many battle generals as the stars, innumerable but there was a place that was the holy ground of all battle generals, Glory Hall. Glory Hall was open to all visitors, and there was an endless stream of people that came to visit. Glory Hall was not vast, it was just a little stone hall that was a few dozen mu in size. 
Glory Hall recorded every battle general in the past that could be identified. It was founded by historians, at the start, it was not famed. They carved the name of the strongest battle generals of each generation on the halls of Glory Hall. What really made it famous was that the results of multiple wars were the exactly same as their predictions. As time went on, the successive masters of Glory Hall continued fairly. The names that were carved into Glory Hall underwent even stricter requirements, and all of them were battle generals that were publicly known as the strongest in their generation. Over time, Glory Hall became the holiest place for battle generals. Many battle generals when they first started to learn how to be a general would dream that, one day, their names would be carved into Glory Hall. That represented unparalleled achievement and glory. So the shock that Ming Yu Wei's words caused could be imagined. The last time that Glory Hall had engraved a name had been 20 years ago. Ming Yu Wei thought that this person had a chance to step into Glory Hall. How could they not be shocked? But they knew Ming Yu Wei very well. She was intelligent and strategic. She was the strongest battle general of the Ming bandits. Her words were fantastical but half of the group believed. Ming Wei looked dazedly at his younger sister who had a serious expression. The fury on his face unconsciously disappeared. He suddenly raised his hand and slapped himself multiple times. Brother. Ming Yu Wei was frightened by Ming Hui's action. The other commanders all paled greatly. Ming Wei had hit himself hard, and his face was covered with bright red hand prints. His gaze became calm once again. He looked at the slaughter occurring in the distance and said gravely, I, Ming Wei, will remember the humiliation of today. Sister, do not be demotivated, so what if he can step into Glory Hall? From childhood, I believed that sister will definitely enter Glory Hall. I have confidence in you. Ming Yu Wei bit her lips. Tears rose in her eyes, and her hands unconsciously bawled. Chapter 636, A Sudden Appearance Today's battle has awakened me. Today, I finally understood that, with these lowly tactics, I cannot create a true army. Ming Hui's gaze was determined as he said, I will release the Jinji on your bodies now. If you want to leave, leave at your will. I have decided to remake the battalion, not as bandits, but as the Ming battalion. If you are willing to stay with this Ming Wei, I will not fail you. As he spoke, the commanders shook and their expressions were disbelieving. Ming Wei had released the Jinji in their bodies just as he said. Some people raised their hands in a bow towards at Ming Wei before turning and leave. Ming Wei did not stop them. In a blink, there were only about 3,000 people left. The Ming bandits who found that their Jinji had been taken off immediately lost the courage to fight and fled. Ming Yu Wei said in a very low voice, Brother, it is not good to release the Jinji at this time. If the Jinji were not released, they could buy more time for their escape. Ming Wei smiled darkly and said in an even lower voice, Do not worry, I have my own plans. I have been exceptionally kind in not killing the people who left, it will be their fate if they die in the hands of others. Ming Yu Wei felt a chill rise from her back. Brother seemed to have left them a road to life, but was actually pushing them towards death. Even if the disorganized Ming bandits could flee the mysterious battalion, they would not be able to escape the experts of Great Peace City. Brother, you are waiting for Bu Hang? Ming Yu Wei suddenly asked. Ming Wei smiled coldly. Not just Bu Hang. This battalion is strong but there are countless others who desire something as great as the anti-dragon claw. Bu Hen is a smart person. He obtained the information and then spread it. From the beginning, he knew that the Great Peace Treasure Pavilion was not something that he could touch. The coldness in Ming Hui's eyes grew. He snorted coldly, the chaos will not end as easily as this. Finishing, he ordered the battalion to retreat. Ming Yu Wei was silent. She was skilled at being a battle general, but her grasp of grander schemes was not as good as her elder brother. She didn't know if this defeat was good or bad for elder brother. Ming Yu Wei felt slightly worried. The abrupt collapse of the Ming bandits was unexpected to everyone. In a blink, Miao Jun and Xu Long felt the pressure on them lessen. They did not understand what had happened but in order to help Sin Battalion, they had faced enemies numbering multiple times their own. They were exhausted. Even though the enemy crumbled now, they didn't even have the energy to chase them. Xu Long and the others sat down and started to recover. Miao Jun also ordered those in his command to rest immediately but his gaze unconsciously looked towards Bi Han in the sky. Bi Han had stayed for a long length of time in Great Peace City. All the major powers knew of this person, and also that he had a battalion called Sin Battalion under his command. But no one had thought this cold and proud person was so powerful, that this unknown battalion was so terrifying. Miao Jun had paled when he saw the series of attacks just now. As a gold battle general, he knew more than others and even he had never seen such a vicious style of fighting before. Bi Han was definitely at the level of the top battle generals. When he thought of this, his gaze reflexively landed on Zuo Mo thoughtfully. Xu Long and the others had not concealed anything from Miao Jun and Miao Jun had heard long ago that Xiao Mo Zhe Darin also had an invincible battle general called Gong Sun Cha and an invincible battalion called Vermilion Bird Camp. After Miao Jun became familiar with Xu Long's personality, he didn't doubt the ability of Gong Sun Lil, Miss. Adding on Bi Han, Xiao Mo Zhe Darin possessed two top-tier battle generals. In the enormous Mo territories, the number of factions who were at this level could be counted on the fingers. Adding on a Gui and Sang Lianer with their unfathomable strength, as well as Xiao Mo Ji's own great power, 
Miao Jun suddenly realized that a faction like this probably qualified to start spreading their own influence in the chaotic and war-torn state of the world. His gaze flickered as he thought. Princess Sha and the others gaped with wide eyes. The situation had reversed so suddenly that they could not keep up. Many people still didn't understand what had happened. Xiao Mo Zhe had told them to retreat in this direction and received everyone's consent. But when the majority of the Ming bandits locked onto them, they had all paled. They thought that they would not have any way left to escape. But in a blink, Sin Battalion had erupted and cut the Ming bandits into pieces. Those with clear minds couldn't help but look at Zhuo Mo with a threat of terror. He had such a powerful battalion in his command but he had managed to keep it a secret. He had gathered the people to set up an enormous battle formation belt, all for the purpose of misleading the Ming bandits. In order to create a chance for Sin Battalion to strike a fatal blow, he even threw everyone, including himself, out as bait. Such deep cunning. The middle-aged attendant sighed with suppressed astonishment. Princess Sha's gaze had not left Zuo Mo's face. When he noticed the hint of shock in Zuo Mo's eyes, she couldn't help but laugh. Maybe this is an accident. An accident. The middle-aged attendant looked with slight surprise at Princess Sha. Princess Sha who was usually peerless in intelligence seemed to have become dumber. She shook her head and said, it cannot be a coincidence. The actions were all related in the setup perfect in timing and action. We were unknowingly used by him to be bait. This boy might actually reach high heights. Princess Sha smiled brightly. What no one knew was that Zuo Mo's shock wasn't any less than theirs. Bi Han was so ferocious. He was dumbstruck. He had carved the Mo matrices for Sin Battalion and knew Sin Battalion's strength. But the power that Sin Battalion had in Bi Han's hand surpassed his predictions. If he knew that Sin Battalion was so powerful before, did he need to set up so many things? His initial plan was to continuously weaken the Ming bandits to give Sin Battalion a chance to carry out an ambush. That would create a short period of chaos. However, the fatal attack would be him leading all the general levels to charge straight into the core of the Ming bandits and taking down their leader. He even prepared to take the princesses and the leaders as hostages if Zhu Kei and the others did not agree. Yet the changes of the battle completely was out of his expectations. The Sin Battalion led by Bi Han was unstoppable and beat the Ming bandits into submission. Zuo Mo grimaced inside. If he knew this before, wouldn't everything have been resolved if he let Bi Han out? Watching as the danger was resolved, Zuo Mo's tense nerves unconsciously relaxed and he exhaled deeply. But when he looked at the chaotic crowds, he sighed again. Truthfully, he had purposefully left an opening in the battle formation belt he had set up because he knew, no matter how many people there were, these normal people who had never been trained could not stop the Ming bandits. Of his preparations, some were cruel, some were useless. Many people had died, but they had won in the end. The majority were able to survive. Ha ha, brother. I just knew that you could do it. Lan Tian Long's loud laugh came from behind him. The people behind him also couldn't suppress the expression of happiness. Zuo Mo turned around. He wanted to smile but wasn't able to. He didn't feel any great sadness, but there wasn't much joy neither. Lan Tian Long darted forward to give Zuo Mo a big hug. The other people took turns to come forward and hug him. Just as one of the people was preparing to hug him, the anti-dragon claw on Zuo Mo's back suddenly shook and Zuo Mo was startled. Almost at the same time, he felt a stirring of danger. Without thinking, the reversed stellar revolution on his hand was thrown forward as he darted back. An extremely dark and cold black energy brushed past Zuo Mo's chest from bottom to top. The dark and strange aura caused Zuo Mo's hairs to stand on end. The ambusher hadn't expected that Zuo Mo could react so quickly after he had relaxed. The two were very close and he had thought there would be no reason for him to miss at such a close distance, but the other had detected his intentions. When his attack missed, and before he could escape, the reversed stellar revolution appeared in front of him like a spray of sparks. His expression changed. Could he not recognize the killing move that Xiao Mo Zhe had used to defeat the Peacock King Plume? But the two were too close, so close that he didn't have any time to react. Under his terrified gaze, the reversed stellar revolution turned to sparks and landed on the assassin's body. He didn't even have the time to scream before he was burned into dust. The sparks returned to Zuo Mo's hand and became a slowly spinning star bracelet again. Lan Tian Long and the others paled. This had occurred so suddenly. In a flash, the ambusher had been burned to dust. He is in Qi Gong. Why would he try to assassinate you? Lan Tian Long reacted and a hint of anger flashed through his eyes. And Qi Gong had clearly intermingled among them in order to take advantage of his relationship with Xiao Moje. Someone had schemed against old Long. Lan Tian Long suddenly lowered his voice and said, Do you want me to go investigate? In that moment, Zuo Mo had been frightened but at this time, he quickly calmed down. He shook his head. There's no need. After a moment of thought, he said to Lan Tian Long, Go find a few people and help maintain the order. Prevent people from taking advantage of the chaos. Lan Tian Long said heavily, All right, if old Long finds the person responsible, I'll make him wish for death. Finishing, he turned with a dark expression. Bi Han narrowed his eyes and looked at the remaining 3,000 Ming bandits in front of him. Behind him, Sin Battalion was still harvesting the lives of the Ming bandits at an astounding rate. A light flashed through his narrowed eyes. He was like a tiger that had been caged for a long time. The brief battle that had just finished could not satisfy him. However, the Ming bandits who had fled suddenly ran back in panic. 
Boss. Not good. Not good. Marshal Yu. Marshal Yu has come. Marshal Yu. Marshal Yu. This name which caused the Ming bandits to panic caused cheers to rise among the crowd. Many people even cried from joy. The reputation of Marshal Yu was completely the opposite of the Ming bandits. No matter what, Marshal Yu would not act against them. Zhu Kei and the others also relaxed. Their families were on good terms with Marshal Yu and there would not be any problems to their own safety. Only Princess Sha expression changed slightly and she looked worriedly at Zuo Mo. Zuo Mo's face suddenly darkened. The incoming forces were not an allies. Murderousness flashed through Sang Li and her eyes. When it had been her crucial time of breakthrough, the people that Marshal Yu had sent tried to use her to threaten her father. There was a chance to settle accounts today. Bi Han did not feel any fear. He was still hungry after the fight with the Ming bandits. He gazed with narrowed eyes at the horizon, fighting spirit rampaging through his body. Don't be too weak. Chapter 637, Arrival of Marshal Yu. Ma Fan wiped his face and took a look at the packed group of Xiojie outside. He shook his head. It seems that they don't plan on leaving in the short term. The Xiojie outside was the Tian Huan battalion that Gong Ye Xiao Rong was leading. As predicted by Gong Sun Cha, they had appeared in Orchid Home Jia and started to attack the Chaos Rift defended by Black Turtle Camp. Luckily, Ma Fan had been careful and didn't dare to relax. He had constantly sent out patrols. His caution was useful. The patrols had discovered the enemy and sounded an early alarm. Ma Fan who received the warning immediately went on full defense. Due to the worry that they would not be able to hold the Chaos Rift, the construction of defensive formations had never stopped. Compared to when Lil Miss had been here, the formation belt was two times larger. Even right before the fighting started, the formation belt was still being expanded. This caused Ma Fan's confidence to increase. Truthfully, the fighting had never stopped in Orchid Home Jia. Ma Fan's scouts and the Yao scouts would frequently have skirmishes. Overall, though, the two sides were restrained and maintained an unspoken agreement. When Gong Ye Xiao Rong saw the ambush did not succeed, he changed to a frontal assault. But facing such an enormous formation belt, Gong Ye Xiao Rong didn't have any good solutions. However, Gong Ye Xiao Rong knew that this chaos rift was their closest path to returning to the Xiojie realms. Gong Ye Xiao Rong's attacks were extremely ferocious and uncaring of fatalities. The fighting was unusually intense, and almost half of the fort's formation belt had been destroyed. Corpses littered the surroundings. The grand talismans that Tian Huan battalion had were enormously effective. This allowed them to withstand two rounds of attack. Ma Fan's Black Turtle Camp had had a difficult time. The fort was almost lost until guard camp arrived and steadied the defense line. Yet these Tian Huan Xiojie did not know weariness nor cared about the fatalities. They furiously attacked like waves crashing onto the shore. Ma Fan could not count how many rounds of attack they had fought off. Almost half of Black Turtle Camp was lost. Ma Fan had to replenish his forces with members of Green Dragon Camp which had been acting as reinforcement to Black Turtle Camp. The rate of deaths for the Greenhorns was extremely high in intense battles like this. Azure Dragon Camp only existed in name now. Those able to survive were all Shioje that were able to quickly adapt to battle. The defense line became even stronger, and everyone started to adjust to fighting of such high intensity. There's nothing to be afraid of. Lei Peng's voice was hoarse and rough but his eyes were even brighter than before. He said nonchalantly, we can be said to be experienced now. Ha, Tian Huan is just so, we can kill as many as they send. They have no reinforcements, and cannot afford continuous fatalities. We will definitely win this fight. I just wonder what good reward I can get from Lil, Miss Darren. Nian Lu drawled. His handsome face was covered in dust. However, just like Lei Peng, his eyes were unusually bright and he was surrounded by sword essence. This battle had been hard, but after going through it, all of them had improved greatly. Nothing could cause someone improve faster than fighting. Gong Ye Xiao Rong looked with concentration at the damaged fort expressionlessly. The other's primary commander had left with their main forces. Technically, this should be a great opportunity. This was the main reason that he decided to attack the fort. No battle general had a good method of attacking forts like this. Gong Ye Xiao Rong had been mentally prepared that many people would die but, fighting until now, he was unable to calm down. The other's hardiness was almost unimaginable. He had learned Gong Sun Cha's strength already. He knew that he was a battle general that rivaled him. But even now, he could not figure now which faction Gong Sun Cha belonged to. When Gong Sun Cha left with the main forces, the biggest obstacle for Gong Ye Xiao Rong had been removed. Even though he knew fatalities would be high in a full frontal assault like this, he had still been filled with confidence. If he was willing to pay the price, he could take the fort. Yet this mysterious faction gave him a heavy blow again. The unknown battle general inside the fort was the hardiest battle general that he probably ever met. This battle general's battalion was not outstanding, and far from being comparable to Gong Sun Cha's battalion. Gong Ye Xiao Rong had not thought much of them, dismissing them as a threat, but this unknown battle general and this unknown battalion had cost his side a heavy price, and he was unable to advance one more step. They were as steady as rock, and the detail-oriented Gong Ye Xiao Rong discovered that the enemy battalion was becoming even more resilient. After this battle, this unknown battalion would completely transform and become a true elite force. Their Tian Huan battalion had became the enemy's whetstone. There was no hope of victory. 
If they kept on fighting, the fatalities would only increase. Gong Ye Xiao Rong was silent. He had been talented from childhood and had smoothly advanced even in a large sect like Tian Huan. He had been respected by his fellow disciples and protected by the elders. He had never thought that he would end up in a situation like this one day. Defeat after defeat. Looking at his battalion of which only slightly more than a third remained, looking at the faces that were looking in bewilderment at him, his heart suddenly hurt. His face was slightly ashen but he knew that everyone was waiting for his decision. We will leave. He used almost all the strength in his body to say these three words. When Mu Shi finished listening to the report from her subordinate, she was thoughtful. Darren, should we go take that chaos rift? The enemy is tired from fighting. Now that Gong Ye Xiao Rong has retreated, they would be relaxed and off guard. This is a good chance, the subordinate couldn't resist saying. The successive victories had established and secured Mu Zai's position in the Palace Lake Wood Clan. Right now, she was undoubted as the top-ranked battle general of the Palace Lake Wood Clan, and was qualified to decide on the major discussions of the clan. There had never been one that was so young in the history of the Yao able to achieve such a level. Mu Shi shook her head. What is the use if we take it? It is already very good that we are able to hold this Jia. Do not underestimate the other. They were able to stop Gong Ye Xiao Rong. It is hard to say for certain but just in defense, there are probably few that can compare. Seeing the subordinate's disagreement, she said, Don't be proud because Gong Ye Xiao Rong lost a few skirmishes to us. We have never fought Gong Ye Xiao Rong head on. Gong Ye Xiao Rong is very strong to have defeated the Allied army. After some thought, she ordered, We need good relations with this faction. They have great ambitions if they dare to become enemies with Tian Huan. Naturally, they will need allies. But they are Xiaojie. You need to see the flow of history. The world is in turmoil. Chaos rifts connect Xiaojie, Yao, and Mo territories. Within the decade, the barriers between Xiaojie, Yao, and Mo will be broken, Mu Shi said solemnly. The subordinate wanted to say more, but he acknowledged the order when he saw Mu Zai's stern gaze. Mu Shi looked at the back of the subordinate as he left with flashing eyes. She knew that she was too young. Even though she had been winning all this time, there were many in the clan that did not accept her. Maybe she should build her own battalion. When this thought appeared, the urge was unable to be removed. The black crowds of people in the horizon seemed to be moving slowly but in a flash, they appeared. The battalion stretched like a cloud silently. There was indifference on the face of every Mo soldier. From a glance, it could be seen that they were experienced Mo soldiers. The banners of the clans were raised and flew in the wind. There wasn't any stray sound from the battalion. In the center of the battalion, an enormous chariot procession was the most eye-catching. Blue silk flew in the wind, and the copper tassels that hung from the eaves of the chariot roof chimed from far away. The four beasts that pulled the chariot were unusually ugly but they were extremely submissive standing the front of the chariot. Beside the chariot, four large men with stern expressions had a wooden rack on their shoulders where a blue sword was placed. As the ranks spread out, a tangible killing essence spread. Great Peace City was silent. No one dared to speak loudly. Zuo Mo wasn't frightened by the pomp at all. He looked around. Marshal Yu's battalion was not as large as he imagined and was just about 10,000 people. This was a much lower number than he imagined. In his imaginations, the battalion of a marshal should cover the sky. Each marshal usually had more than a hundred Jia under their command. Princess Sha suddenly said in a low voice, Marshal Yu has been busy expanding his territories and his battalions have been mostly sent out. His own territories haven't been peaceful. But you have to be careful. This Yu Frontier Guard is the most elite battalion that Marshal Yu has. I have no way to help, be careful. From these sparse words, Zuo Mo understood many things. He could hear the concern in the other's tone and comforted, that's all right, I have my own measures. Princess Sha gritted her teeth and said, if it cannot be helped, give the anti-dragon claw to him. Zuo Mo's heart felt warm but when he thought of the 3,000 threads of worry that had merged into his body, he grimaced inwardly. The 3,000 threes of worry were wrapped around the anti-dragon claw. No matter how he tried, they would not unwind and leave the anti-dragon claw. Even if he wanted to give the anti-dragon claw to someone else, he couldn't do it. Don't worry, don't worry. Zuo Mo comforted with a smile. Shu Long and the others had returned to Zuo Mo's side and were on full alert. The presence of this battalion intimidated all. Even Ming Wei and the others couldn't help but change expression. The Ming bandits that he had built had not been afraid of anything but they had just suffered heavy losses. Now, after he personally saw the most elite force of Marshal Yu, he finally felt what true elite was. His Ming bandits, in front of this strictly organized battalion, could only be called, bandits. He had thought previously that with many people fighting over the anti-dragon claw, he would have a chance during the chaos. But when Marshal Yu came with his Yu frontier guards, he knew that the anti-dragon claw would land in Marshal Yu's hands. Marshal Yu would probably not let people of terrible reputation like his Ming bandits escape. Ming Hui's expression became uncertain. Chapter 638 Mr. Tong The ferocious presence of the Yu frontier guards intimidated everyone. The chariot with its billowing curtains felt like a great and ancient beast looking down at the world. The commander surrounded it and the Mo soldiers stood in formation like a dense forest. It was a murderous silence and the invisible pressure was like a lead cloud that made the air suffocating. Zuo Mo gaze was as sharp as a sword and fearless. Present the anti-dragon claw to me, and you will be spared death. 
An authoritative voice came from within the chariot. The voice seemed to have a power to reach deep into the mind of a person. You will be spared death. The Yu frontier guards shouted deafeningly in unison. It was like everyone was struck on the head. At the same time, a great wave of murderous intent came like an avalanche that swept the entire region. Even experts of Zhu Kei's level changed expression. Ming Wei and the others were ashen faced. Zhuo Mo's gaze was bright and his expression indifferent as though he had not heard that great shout. Silent. It became deathly silent. Everyone couldn't help but turn to look at Zhuo Mo. Many people had expressions of Schadenfreude. The anti dragon claw was a Sky Mo weapon and a Mo weapon that all Mo dreamed of. Countless Mo were jealous that Zhuo Mo had obtained the anti dragon claw. Right now, Marshal Yu had come in person with the Yu frontier guards. No one believed that Xiao Mo Zhe could make any more waves. Really? Zhuo Mo seemed to say to himself. His voice resonated all around even though it was not loud. When the word came out, the other people stilled. Then expressions of disbelief came onto many people's eyes. Was Xiao Mo Zhe thinking of resisting? Resist? Marshal Yu had come in person yet Xiao Mo Zhe dared to resist? Did this person not want to live? Many members of the Yu Frontier Guard were shocked by Zhuo Mo's words as well but soon, their faces filled with anger. Such daring. He dared to disobey Marshal Yu. Marshal Yu did not speak but those under his command could not resist. One person said coldly, What? Even sparing your insignificant life is because Marshal Yu treasures talent. Be good and present the anti-dragon claw. Swear your loyalty to Marshal Yu. Someone as lowly as you does not deserve a treasure like the anti-dragon claw. Anger rose on the faces of Shu Long and the others. Zuo Mo was unaffected. His lips curled slightly in a disdainful smile as he spat out, You want to die. Everyone was shocked. Was Xiao Mo Zhe mad? He dared to call Marshal Yu's man the one who wanted to die. Princess Sha paled. She pressed her lips together as her eyes became deeply worried. Almost at the same time, a purple energy flashed through Gui's eyes. Her right hand suddenly moved towards that Mo. Crack. A crisp sound of a bone snapping was eerily clear against the deathly silence. The eyes of the Mo who had just spoken bulged suddenly and his neck tilted at a strange angle. Before he could make a sound, he fell from the sky like a rock. Hiss. Sharp inhales sounded. Everyone looked in terror at a Gui who was standing next to Zuo Mo. This person who appeared extremely ugly and had been following Xiao Mo Zhe all this time but it was rare to see her act. The only time she had fought was when she and Sang Lianer had defended Zou Mo from Lin Qian's blow. But this attack was even more powerful than the strike she blocked from Lin Qian. Had she not used her full power previously? Zhu Kei and the others also had uncertain expressions. They were astounded inside. But what most people found even harder to understand was that Xiao Mo Zhe didn't seem to have any fear at all when facing Marshal Hu. He even dared to talk back to Marshal Yu. Did this person have some major power behind him? This thought flashed through people's minds but then they shook their heads. No matter what support they had, it was useless at the moment. Marshal Yu had come with 10,000 Yu frontier guards, it was useless unless another marshal came with their own personal guard. The death of their fellow enraged the Yu frontier guard. Even the calmest person was unable to maintain their calm. A large full bearded man stepped out and bowed towards the chariot. He said angrily, Lord, this subordinate is willing to go and fight this arrogant peon. Another person came out and shouted at the same time, this subordinate is also willing to fight. Several others also came out to request to fight. Zuo Mo's arrogance in Agui's attack had completely enraged the people of Yu Frontier Guard who usually had their eyes looking at the sky. If one really has talent, there is nothing wrong in being proud. Marshal Yu's voice came from the chariot. What is not good is when one doesn't have the talent to match their arrogance. This seat has no patience for people like that. Since you have requested to fight, then go. You will be rewarded if you win. If you lose, you will belong under his command. When the words came out, the commanders stared at each other. They had requested to fight out of indignation, but they were not confident. They were still very wary of Agui's unfathomable attacks. That if they were really defeated and had to swear allegiance to Xiao Mo Zhe, the consequences would be too severe. Also, they could hear that Master's fondness for talent had been stirred. In the end, Xiao Mo Zhe might end up under the command of Master. They knew Master's fondness for talent. He liked to recruit young talents. If Xiao Mo Zhe really had some talent, Master would not care about a few slight offenses. If they really had to swear allegiance to him, then it would be worse than being killed. Their gazes unconsciously moved towards a man beside the chariot in a plea for help. This large man was very tall and had short hair. There was nothing outstanding about his appearance but his gaze was serene and his presence steady. Under the pleading gazes of the crowd, he smiled helplessly. Then he turned and bowed towards the carriage. He said in a respectful voice, Master, this subordinate feels an itch to see Xiao Mo Ji's skill. Please, Master, allow this subordinate to fight. Oh, Mr. Tong is rarely interested in the ability of others. Interesting, interesting. Light laughter came from the chariot. This Mr. Tong was someone that Marshal Yu trusted highly and so Marshal Yu said, then this seat will wait and see. Thanks, Master. Mr. Tong bowed slightly towards the chariot. He turned around. Noticing the joy on the faces of the commanders, he shook his head helplessly. He had a good reputation among the commanders and could not refuse their request for help. When he turned to face Xiao Mo Zhe, and saw the anti-dragon claw on his back, heat suddenly flashed through his eyes. 
He raised his right leg and lightly stepped forward. Under the eyes of everyone present, his figure disappeared as though he was teleporting through space. Whoosh. He appeared out of thin air. With this light jump, inhales sounded. One could see the skill of an expert when they acted. No one had detected any vibrations from the seemingly simple step that Mr. Tong took. There were those that cultivated Mo eyes among the people present but no one had managed to observe his step. Zhu Ke, Chong Yuan Hao, and the others changed expression. Only experts who had reached, Domain, could faintly discern that Mr. Tong's step was closely related to, Domain. Zuo Mo's pupils contracted, he did not understand the mysteries behind this step. But Zuo Mo did not feel fear as he faced the challenging gaze. His nerves had been highly tense after the battles of the past few days. The pairs of anticipating eyes were on him. He felt that he was like a rope that was being pulled apart and would snap at any moment. He had silently planned and calculated everything, holding up under the pressure these people placed on him. He was silent, his mind was tired, he was struggling to remain upright. But he finally made it through. Actually, ever since the battle with the Ming bandits started, his mind calmed down and he entered new state. The test of the past few days was like whetstone that had polished him. However, this time, what was being polished was not his mo physique, but his mind and his heart. Unknowingly, his mind had completely transformed, become even stronger and resilient. He did not have any stray thoughts, confusion, or terror. Even if he was facing an enemy he could not get the measure of, his mind was not affected at all. Zuo Mo's 3000 threads of worry tightened. He was about to step out when a figure suddenly disappeared like a ghost from beside him. Sang Lianer. Zuo Mo was slightly surprised. Sang Lianer seemed to be unusually eager for a fight today. The two faced off in the air. Mr. Tong's step was ethereal and Sang Lianer's figure was seductive. Two completely different styles but both were filled with danger. Mr. Tong smiled. Miss is very good. However, this one wants to fight Xiao Mo Zhe, can Miss make way? Even though he said it politely, the meaning of his words were clear. You aren't my match, have Xiao Mo Zhe come. Sang Lianer stood her ground, her long red dress was like a rose blooming in the air. Her features were exquisite and her gaze dazzling while her presence was misty and ghostly. When the two distinct traits mixed together, it was a beauty that did not seem realistic. Her opal black eyes were deep, her lips moved and her voice was as light as smoke, that is not up to you. Finishing her statement, her wrists moved and turned slightly, her long sleeves rippled in waves. Seriousness came onto Mr. Tong's face, he raised his right hand and directed a blow at Sang Lianer. Both had movements that seemed slow and without any killing intent as though they were dancing. Yet the sky between the combatants suddenly twisted. Then, ripples formed and started to move into the surroundings. Sang Lianer's gaze became even more blurry. Under her long red dress, the white Mo matrix was like flowers upon her beautiful smooth skin as it expanded. Her body was soft and flexible like a snake as she danced to a strange rhythm. There was no ease on Mr. Tong's face. His hair stood up on end, energy brimming from all parts of his body. His right palm seemed to be holding something extremely heavy. The edge of his palm was disappearing at a very slow rate as though his hand was slowly sinking into a void. The sky which had been rippling in waves suddenly started to boil. The vibrations became even more violent. Bubbles of various sizes appear out of the thin air. In a flash, the space between the combatants was filled with these bubbles. The largest of these bubbles were the size of a fist, and the smallest the size of a pinhead. Once they came out, they floated motionlessly in the air. They were like the most normal bubbles. Under the sunlight, they reflected the world. Chapter 639 Divine Moon Moonlight flashed through those bewitching eyes. Pia. The bubbles around the two exploded in unison. Gusts of sharp air rushed out and covered the two. Yet such powerful gusts were unable to harm the two at all. There seemed to be an invisible barrier to Zhang around Mr. Tong which stopped the gust. While Sang Lianer seemed to be intangible. The gusts easily passed through her. Her figure was like a reflection in the water. It wavered, became blurry and seemed almost unreal. Mr. Tong's gaze focused. His hand grabbed at Sang Lianer. A black palm print left his hand and turned into a black ball of mist that headed towards Sang Lianer. There seemed to be countless monsters howling from within the black mist. The roars filled the air and everyone who heard it felt their hairs stand up. Sang Lianer's gaze was bewitching. Her lips parted slightly and she breathed. Moon. Her long sleeve moved lightly like silk in water. The air around her suddenly became dark. A crescent moon floated behind her. This crescent moon was slightly taller than her and gave off a cool light. Sang Lianer was extremely excited. The divine moon had finally appeared. The Moon Shen power succession technique she had inherited was relatively complete but some of the crucial parts had been lost. The heir of each generation had tried to do all they could to perfect the cultivation method but the restoration effects were minute. Even their own cultivation had progressed at a difficult rate. Divine Moon, the crux of the later stages of cultivation, had been lost long before. Now it was restored on Sang Lianer's hands. Sang Lianer's talent was outstanding and she had worked hard on her cultivation from a young age. In this period of time, her frequent battles, especially the one with Lin Qian, had benefited her greatly. The powerful Mr. Tong pressured her greatly and was also the cause of her epiphany of the Divine Moon. Divine Moon. A cool voice came from behind the silk curtains. Marshall Yu said, So Sang Lianer cultivates Shen power, it was this seat that made a wrong guess. 
The commanders around the chariot shook with astonishment on their faces. Shen power. So this was Shen power. The crescent moon in the sky seemed to have passed through time from the ancient era. Lord. Some of the commanders called. Do not let her escape, Marshal Yu quietly commanded. The middle-aged attendant next to Princess Sha had an unfocused gaze as she murmured to herself, Divine Moon, so this is what Shen power truly is like. She had been searching hard for decades and schemed to just reach the edge. Previously, she had detected that Sang Lianer cultivated Shen power, but when she saw the crescent moon in the sky, her mouth felt bitter. The Divine Moon's appearance meant that Sang Lianer's Shen power was finally on the right path. A look flashed through Princess Sha's eyes and she reflexively looked towards Xiao Mo Zhe. Her eyes flickered. She noticed that Zuo Mo's body imperceptibly shook and his expression changed slightly. Noticing Princess Sha's gaze, Zuo Mo turned around. The two's gazes met. Princess Sha found a flash of joy in Zuo Mo's eyes. Bi Han was not interested in the fight ongoing in the sky. For battle generals like him who focused on battle command, struggles through individual power were not interesting. His Sin Battalion was almost all equal in power, and there were no strong experts. Almost all his energy was spent on how to squeeze the most power out of Sin Battalion. Over a long period of time, this also became a habit, or rather, his combat style. Regardless of the intensity of the battle in the air, it could not attract his gaze. He constantly swept the Yu frontier guards warily like a cunning wolf looking for an opening to attack. He was not frightened by the Yu frontier guards. Even though his days in the past had been the same as being in prison, Zan Kong Temple was one of the four great sects. Even the opponents the sect sent against him were on par with Zhang Jie. Growing up in an environment like this, Bi Han could not fear a battalion he had not even heard of, even if the other's leader was at martial level. After decades of being icy and stoic, his heart was as hard as stone. The other people were intimidated by Marshal Yu's reputation and didn't dare to move. However, Bi Han constantly looked at this enormous battalion in search of a weakness he could use to break through. His spirit had not calmed down from his battle with the Ming bandits. He was like a lion that had been caged for too long. He had charged out of the cage and was yearning to find any fight. Light flashed in his narrowed eyes. When he saw a small troop of the Yu frontier guards move towards the flank when people were not paying attention, his eyes turned cold. After a moment of thought, he understood what the other intended, the other was surrounding Sang Lianer and preventing her from running away. Even though this guess was slightly ridiculous because from every angle, it seemed impossible that Sang Lianer could escape, Bi Han did not hesitate. His harrowed eyes slowly swept across where the troop was situated and he believed even more in his own judgment. The movement of this little troop did not attract anyone's attention. Among the dense ranks, it was hard to detect a change in position. Even if the Yu Frontier Guard battle generals noticed this shift in position, they would soon look elsewhere. In such a large army, the change in position of a thousand people was not something of particular note. Bi Han's eyes narrowed even more. The killing energy and light in his eyes was almost hidden by his eyelids. This seemed like a change in position of no value, but Bi Han paid attention. He quickly calculated the changes that would occur as a result of this little change in position. Xiao Jie battle generals were the most skilled at divination. As one of the best, Bi Han's divination skill could be called terrifying. In his mind, the motionless Yu frontier guards were shifting around. The movement of the little troop would cause the middle of the army to thin by ten present. Noticing the experts near the chariot that were nervously staring at the two fighting in the air, Bi Han seemed to smell prey. He became slightly excited, but his gaze became even deeper and his attention even more focused. He had a strong feeling the opportunity was slowly coming towards him. The fight in the air reached a climax. Mr. Tong's black mist that seemed to be made of numerous monsters howling dissipated quickly under the light of Sang Lianer's moon like the heat from boiling water after being poured onto ice. Mr. Tong's expression suddenly changed. A drop of blood suddenly came out between his brows and flew into his hand. Even though it was only one drop of blood, his palm looked as though it was covered in blood. This bloodied palm was raised up, and Mr. Tong's expression became grave. Palm Eye Cliff. The sky above Sang Lianer darkened. She raised her head to look and saw a cliff hundreds of Zhang tall dropping down quickly. Hiss. The people below saw it clearly and inhaled. A mountain that was shaped like a hand had red channels on it like the patterns of a palm print. What was most frightening was that on the palm there was an enormous bloody eye. Anyone that was swept by this eye froze in their blood almost solidified. Even the middle-aged attendant and the others showed some astonishment. They didn't know the powers of this blood eye, but just the presence of the falling mountain was enough to make people feel that they could not win. Such a powerful palm eye domain. Zhu Kei murmured, shocked inside. The palm eye domain originated from the palm eye mo skill. This was a very rare and obscure mo skill. The person would only cultivate one palm and one eye. Even Zhu Kei who was very knowledgeable had only heard rumors. But this unknown Mr. Tong had clearly cultivated this extremely obscure Mo art to a very deep level. His understanding of domain seemed almost unimaginable. Even from afar, Zhu Kei felt his heart speed up as he saw that Palm Eye Cliff and its cold presence. In the history of the Palm Eye Mo skill, there probably isn't anyone who can surpass Mr. Tong. This nondescript Mo skill has blossomed in his hand, and one has to admire him. A one horned Mo standing next to the chariot praised. This person was called Ding Dong. His large body was covered in thick armor. What was most curious was that the armor was growing out of his body. 
Those without persistence cannot do this. Another person praised. This person's eyes were long and narrow, his gaze cold. There was a transparent pair of wings on his back that were as clear as glass. This person was called Qian Qing and was one of the more famous experts in Marshal Yu's command. I hope that this woman can manage to survive a while longer, Ding Dong said with a smile, I really anticipate examining Shen Power. Qian Qing snorted coldly and said, Shen Power is just a myth. However, the two did not look away. It was rare for Mr. Tong to fight, and he was very low-key under Marshal Yu's command. He was had very good relations with everyone and there were not many chances to see him fight. There were many experts in Marshal Yu's command. Even as strong as they were, there was still competition. The Pomai Cliff was Mr. Tong's ultimate move. They had only heard the name but never seen it before. Now, they focused their attention to see its power. Countless eyes gathered on her, but Sang Lianer did not panic. At some time, the crescent moon had moved in front of her. Mist blurred her eyes, her long sleeves danced and her serene and ethereal voice flashed across everyone's minds. Moon, moon, open. The crescent moon spun in a circle around her and then struck at the Pomai Cliff that was crashing down. There was no sound or ripple. The terrifying Pomai Cliff was split open down the middle like tofu. Mr. Tong's expression changed drastically and his hand froze. Moon, moon, shatter. The crescent moon spun quickly and turned into a flash of light. Sang Lian her beautiful figure flickered under the light of the moon. Countless ruler straight marks covered the Pomai Cliff in a flash. Mr. Tong's face turned from red to wild, his pupils expanded in disbelief. Pew. Face ashen, Mr. Tong sprayed out blood and fell face down from the sky. At the same time, the Pomai Cliff crumbled. The pieces rained down and each cut on every piece was as smooth as a mirror. The entire battlefield was left silent. Chapter 640 the black gold seal solder vs Qian Qing. The long sleeves blew in the air and rippled in waves. Sang Lianer stood serenely. There wasn't a sound on the battlefield. The Pomai Cliff was defeated as simply as this. Everyone's expression was shocked and they were left speechless. Even though they did not personally experience Mr. Tong's Pomai Cliff, but the cold killing intent and cold presence that radiated off it was felt. The ones who knew about the Pomai Mo skill were shocked speechless. Sang Lianer gaze moved around and she smiled under everyone's shocked gaze. At this time, her beautiful face bleached white, she could not control her body and suddenly dropped out of the sky. Several figures leapt out of the Yu frontier guards, they were extremely fast as they shot towards Sang Lianer. Zuo Mo's eyes gave off a sharp light as he snorted coldly, his figure flashed disappearing from where he was. Almost at the same time, a Gui's body also disappeared. Bam! A figure grunted as though he was hit by something heavy and flew away. A Gui appeared in front of this group of Yu frontier guard experts like a ghost. There seemed to be an unspeakable presence on Agwe's wooden and lifeless face. The purple energy in her eyes was clear as she looked indifferently at the experts flying towards her. Her posture was extremely strange, one foot was placed high and one was placed low as though she was stepping on a stair. That pair of flawless feet held an eerie beauty. The remaining people were intimidated by Agwe's uncanny attack and didn't dare to charge forward. Zuo Mo grabbed the unconscious Sang Lianer, he then sighed a moment later, she was just tired. Even though he didn't have a good impression of Sang Lianer, they had known each other for some time. Additionally, Sang Lianer was so cooperative and listened to his requests to the extent that he couldn't even complain. A few strands of the 3,000 threads of worry nimbly wrapped around Sang Lianer freeing up both of his hands. Looking at the people facing Agwe, murderousness boiled in his eyes. The moment that Sang Lianer had her breakthrough, the Shen power in his body had been stimulated. It had started to circulate on its own. Many of the things that had been difficult for him to understand flowed easily through his mind and it was a joy. However, what he hadn't expected was that the change in his Shen power had not benefited his Shen power, but his Mo physique instead. Ten Crow Celestial Apparatus. If his body was completely naked now, people would clearly see that all ten suns on his body were brightly lit up. The brightest was the sun script between his brows. The dark gold script which was complex and exquisite glimmered like there was gold flowing through it. With the anti-dragon claw on his back, Zuo Mo already gave people the feeling of being domineering. Adding on the blinding sun script on his forehead, he seemed even more like a god descended to the mortal realm he was someone that people could not directly stare at. The active and restless Shen power flowed from his right hand into his body. The ten sun matrices were like whirlpools that continuously absorbed Shen power. Zuo Mo did not know what would result from this change. Shen power and the ten crow celestial apparatus were silently merging together. Zuo Mo took a deep breath. This was not the best moment for a breakthrough. That would wait until he finished taking care of these people. At this time, a ripple suddenly came from his ring. The black gold seal soldier appeared next to Agwe, he looked around sneakily and drawled, born to battle. When he saw the Mo steeds of the Yu frontier guards, his eyes lit up. His expression immediately became excited. He licked his lips and puffed out his chest. He said with a righteous tone, Sister Agwe, I'll help you. Agwe did not turn back to look at him. The black gold seal soldier had one hand placed on his hip and one hand pointing as he started to swear, Hey! You insignificant peons, move to the side, don't waste Yi's time. Yi has been hungry for a long time. Cough cough. Yi's hand has been itching for a long time. 
Qian Qing and Ding Dong were the two in front of Agui. The two looked with shock and uncertainty at Agui. Just now, they had seen their other fellow die to Agui's sudden attack. Agui's attack had come without any warning or movement. Just like Sang Lianer, it was uncanny and unpredictable. Was this another person that cultivated Shen power? They too didn't even look at the black gold seal soldier. Mo puppets existed in the Mo territories but most of them were nothing special. Mo puppets couldn't influence a battle at this level. It was much harder to create a Mo puppet that could fight against top generals than it was to cultivate to become a top general. While the black gold seal soldier seemed lively, the two did not place any importance on him. But clearly, the black gold seal soldier was very displeased with how they dismissed his presence. The dark face that mirrored Zuo Mo's face bared its teeth viciously. You dare to dismiss ye? I'll eat you. Finishing, he charged at the two. A figure returned next to the chariot and reported in a low voice, Mr. Tong is dead. It really is a pity. Mr. Tong was a rare expert to have been able to cultivate the Pomimo skill to such a level. The voice from the chariot was slightly regretful. Shen power is as dominant as expected. This person was called Wu Yu. He was the most powerful expert under Marshal Yu's command and highly trusted. There were many experts in Marshal Yu's service and there were ten that were called the Ten Yu Frontier Guards. Qian Qing and Ding Dong were among them. Wu Yu was the first of the ten frontier guards and let them. Mr. Tong had ranked sixth out of ten. Qian Qing ranked seventh, Ding Dong fifth. The person that Agui had killed had been called Song Long and ranked tenth. The ten Yu frontier guards had an elevated status. Each one of them had been experts that were regional commanders and Marshal Yu had spent great effort to gather them. I had not expected that Xiao Mo Zhe would also have many experts in his command, Marshal Yu said slowly. So young, yet so able. As expected, an accomplished youth. Wu Yu smiled and said, when this subordinate was at his age, my time was spent in the pleasure quarters and bars. Compared to Xiao Mo Zhe, that was a total waste. Hearing Wu Yu speak so roughly, Marshal Yu chuckled. If Ding Dong and the others hear you say this, wouldn't they be ashamed? Wu Yu smiled. Marshal Yu suddenly said, you seem to be entering martial level soon. Wu Yu grimaced. The time has not arrived. Marshal Yu said lightly, I will make a copy of the Shen power for you. It will be up to you if you can break through or not. Thanks, Lord. Wu Yu suddenly became excited. He had been stuck at the peak of general level for a long time but had been unable to find a solution to break through to martial level. He knew that if he kept on going like this, his chances of a breakthrough to martial level would decrease. Helping you is also helping me. When you are in martial level, I will be able to relax. The voice inside the chariot held tiredness. Wu Yu's expression was solemn. This one will not fail what Lord has given. Qian Qing is about to lose. Marshal Yu was slightly surprised. Xiao Mo Zhe has such a powerful Mo puppet? Wu Yu stilled and his mind turned back to the battlefield. Qian Qing had never been in such a sorry state. He had never thought there would be a day when he was being beaten by a Mo puppet and by such a large margin. This Mo puppet was extremely strange. When it thought, strange characters would appear on its body. Even Qian Qing who was knowledgeable didn't recognize any of them. But it was extremely dangerous, he didn't dare to touch them. After a few rounds, he was suppressed by the black gold seal soldier. Qian Qing was of high birth. The bloodline of the bright void Cicada Mo gave him unparalleled speed. He was also able to tear apart space at will. Space tier could enable a weak Mo to become an expert that killed without a trace. He would appear out of nowhere and outmaneuver his opponent. But no matter how he tore and jumped through space, the black gold seal soldier seemed to be able to predict his movements and those two fists were waiting for him. Damn it. He didn't know what the characters on the fists of the black gold seal soldier were. Every time Qian Qing looked at them, he was unable to suppress a thread of terror. Qian Qing was talented and experienced. He knew what this thread of unknown terror meant. Only something extremely dangerous could make him instinctively feel danger. How was it possible? Wasn't this black guy in front of him a Mo puppet? Had he met a peerless Mo puppet? Qian Qing was both shocked and furious. However, if he left the battlefield now, his situation would become extremely terrible. His ranking among the Ten Yu Frontier Guards would quickly fall and most importantly, the Lord would lose faith in him. There was nothing scarier than that. The bloodline of the Bright Void Cicada Mo was noble but they were no longer had the great numbers of the past. The reason that the clan had prospered in these past few years was because he had managed to find shade under the great tree that was Marshal Yu. He was a smart person and he understood Lord's like and dislikes very well. If he died in battle, his family would still receive the care of Marshal Yu and would not fall into decline. If he ran from battle, he would lose everything he possessed now. In a short moment, Qian Qing made his decision. He stopped. The wind blew past his face as his panicked eyes calmed down. Space tier was the talent that all Bright Void Cicada Mo experts had, and the most famous ability of the Bright Void Cicada Mo clan. He was very familiar with the technique, but this was not his only offensive attack. Relying on only just, space tear, he entered the top 10 of the Yu Frontier Guards. There were not many that knew of the Mo physique he cultivated or the, domain, formed by his Mo physique. This was his secret. Compared to their current low numbers, the Bright Void Cicada Mo had once existed in great numbers and produced many experts. They were natural-born assassins, and served many factions, but in secret, they had gathered Mo skills from every place they served. 
The experts of each generation would use these Mo skills in the Bright Void Cicada Mo bloodline as the foundation to create many Mo physiques. These Mo physiques were endlessly varied and each had their own attributes. Even within the Bright Void Cicada Mo family, there would rarely be people who would cultivated the same Mo physique. Because of the decline of the Bright Void Cicada Mo, the Mo physiques that the clan's people cultivated were not kept secret like in the past. But no one knew the Mo physique of one person, Qian Qing, the most accomplished Bright Void Cicada Mo of the present. He hadn't thought that the first time his Mo physique was seen in public that it would be to face a Mo puppet. The terror on Qian Qing's face disappeared. What replaced it was strong confidence. 